Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Hello. Welcome along. Nice to see you. Hello, FSG. Hi, Ox. How are you doing? We're jumping straight into it Good tonight, mate. aren't we? Yeah. Yep. And my microphone's not working. Why is that one not working? Oh. Okay. Ah. No, it's the same as last week. All right. <laughs> I'm going to do a check with my squad as well. Can you hear me, guys? How's that going? There we go. Just give me a nod in chat, and then we're, and then we're I'm good sorted. from there. I think I'm sorted. Anyhow, very organized good. as we're going to be. My lot are very quiet tonight, so I'll, uh, I'll assume no news is good news. Either That's that or they can't hear me with... to answer. Yeah, Hamish is waving. We're good. We've, we've broken them with uh, not having countdowns, because normally we both <laughs> yeah, have a little bit of a countdown right. and an intro. We're just like... Hello, like, we're here. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bright lights, bright lights. <laughs> good to uh, see you How all. you doing, mate? Good. Uh, yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Good. I'm excited that we're playing on a different map. So am I. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Left the borders of uh, Silver and Forest, and we're here on Deerlands. Yes, um, indeed. So it's going to be a different challenge, different, different aspect, and you can already see just, oh, no one can see because I'm not looking at that, but uh, this map is so much different. It's very flat. Um, it is not I'm a huge jump actually. of roads or anything like that, so it is going to be very much a race, high speed. A Let's say it's a high speed route. round, shall we? It is. it is. Yeah, you look at Formula One. Formula One has different circuits, some which are technically complex and some which are just flat out. And I think this will be a flat out. Yep, definitely. flat out day. Hmm. It's going to be fun. It's going to definitely bring a whole different <clears> kind of <throat> approach to it. So yes, let's. Uh, Let's Wait, see how we get on. We've got seven rounds tonight. Argus, unfortunately, uh, a genetic had to drop just last minute. So uh, That's right. we're going to run with seven rounds. We've got um, uh, four, no, three uh, team rounds and four solos. Three team rounds. That's right. So first up, we have Pinnacle Loggers taking on Power Team Esports. Now, some might say Power Team Esports were our surprise leaders coming out of the first round. They uh, went two from two in their they two did. matches they played in round one. So nice to see them there on top. And uh, Pinnacle Log has also went through. There's unbeaten. And uh, being our previous season champions, it'll be interesting to see. It's kind of a heavyweight top of the table clash, really. It is. It is, right off of that. it is indeed. So, yes. And, uh, and then second, <clears throat> Logmeisters yeah, versus Modern Logging again. A yes. couple of stalwarts yes. going head to head. Hmm. And then uh, we have Pinnacle Loggers and Logmeisters facing off later on on the second server. Yeah. So should be good from that perspective. In the solos, we have got um, first round will be Faban versus Jimmy Sim versus Coelho. And then Kegarino, Methy Boy versus Bob. Faban back again for the third round versus Modern Logging in his. Uh, Solo capacity versus Farming Alex. And then finally, we'll have Coelho versus Methy Boy versus Farming Alex. So seven rounds to keep us occupied over the next uh, hour, hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, go through it all pretty nice and efficiently. We don't want to do it fast because we want to sort of enjoy it, but um, it's not a race for us. But certainly we want to make sure we uh, efficiently get through things. There's not too much downtime between matches, so... We Before indeed. we get into the first one, um, obviously just a reminder that we are both live at the moment on Argzy Gaming and the Farm Some Guys YouTube channels. Uh, so pull both of them up, mute one, and you can hear all the commentary and get two different perspectives on what's going on. Yes, indeed. And uh, a big shout out to our sponsors as well, to Thrustmaster and to G Portal for providing the service. That's right. Right, so Arx, um just a little bit of an overview. We're going to do a little bit of a run through between between each round, aren't we? But this is this is our first course, and basically they're going to mm -hmm. they can choose any trees they want to cut down, and then when they're finished, they're going to head out of here to the main road, which is up here along this narrow track, uh, and then they are going to hang a left onto the main road. Uh, there are two routes right. out of here, actually, so they can pick which direction they're going, whether to stay off the main road and run parallel to it or go straight up to the main road. Of course, I'm expecting some corner cutting and uh, use of some of this pasture and farmland. Absolutely, yeah. Where would we be without it? And then they have to navigate yep. this quite narrow track just here. So they're going to turn here, um, and then they are going to run up this track here. 
and you'll see that there's two bales either side so they could come in from either end if they wanted to should they wish to do that so they could come down this road over here i don't think that's the quickest route so i don't expect anybody to do that but basically when they break the line over the bales <coughs> that is when the time will stop and then we've got a little bit of time to unload into the cell point which is just through these trees over here so that's it should be good of course the cell point will be used for a couple of different courses on the map so um i think one of the other courses the fastest route might be to come in the other way that's right that's right hmm. um shout out to kelland who's just gifted five memberships in my chat thank you very much sir and hello to everybody in chat nice both at arxis and my chat nice to see you all thank you for yes. joining yeah welcome along much appreciated welcome along, everyone hope you're having a wonderful weekend right let's head What's back because i think round one they are primed and ready to go so yes. we shall yep. just wait so or under starters orders of course Huge thank you, of, as always, Farmer Hamish for all the hard work he puts in during the week and uh, helping manage and organise the teams. And we've also got Mark Haythelthwaite stepping in in sort of a 2IC role to give Hamish a bit of a hand and take some of the stresses off him. So thank you, Mark, for making yourself available. Yep, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. And Hamish, <laughs> yeah, great work, as always, chaps. Mm. All right, start as orders, and we will be up and underway. Here we go. Seconds out. Interesting. We we haven't talked about gear FSG, and we're about to start. But um, I'm we just going to lead off. Power Team Esports have uh, done something completely different, something we haven't seen anyone do yet. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more as this match progresses. But they've gone with the tally handler for their loading equipment. So, yeah, very interesting, um, that isn't it? Instantly. Yeah, we were both quite excited during the week when they uh, said, "Is this an option? Can we do that?" Look how wide um, they've gone with those forks pack. as well. Yeah, that is going to exactly. give it a really stable loading platform, actually. Mm. As Valo goes in for his first cut on his first tree there. Yep. I mean, they have a real <coughs> abundance of trees here to choose from as well, which is really nice, isn't it? Well, they're all the same size, pretty much, too. So yeah. no team's going to get an advantage by going through and slimly picking out trees or anything. It is just to cut the closest one and get into it. That's right. Kigarino is into it here as well. Uh, Jimmy Sim game with James is sitting there waiting for Kegs to get that first tree cut. Not sure what's going on, whether he's just checking his length he's cutting them to. A little bit of a delay here as he gets that one process, but uh, Power Team Esports down the other end there already have their second tree down. Second tree down. Mm. Now of course the third members of the team will have collected their trucks from uh, the store in town. They were already set up there and here they come now. So. Yeah, they come, I was just about to say, FSG, they are just powering their way in, so I'm just going to see how Team Esports have pulled off to one side, Methy Boy is going to try and squeeze through the gap, he's shot the gap, and he's passed them both, so... Nice bit of teamwork nice there, uh, Obelix saw him and waited, yep. that was nice. That's right, yeah, and very spread out here, that's the other thing, there's a lot of space, there's no cliffs or hillsides or anything to navigate, so they are just uh, lots of nice open space for them to work in. Tell you what though, Ogs. Watching that first load go in with the <coughs> telehandle, it looked very smooth, didn't it? They've got a lot of control over those uh, those logs as they uh, load them up. Yeah, yeah, it's surprising. So that was obviously a request they had. Can we use the CZ pack for the uh, loading forks? And just looking at that crab wow. he's just made, that's one of the best we've seen. Look at the manoeuvrability too with the four wheel steer on the yeah. telehandle. He's, oh, he's on the limit of his weight though. Back wheels off the floor there is a very real consideration for them. Right, we'll head over here. Methy Boy's in with the truck. Uh, so, gaming with James. Uh, <coughs> sitting this one out tonight. Because um, he's on holiday. Uh, sharp Farmer. Sharp Farmer. Methy Boy's subbed in from Sharp yes. Farmer. Yes. Thank you, pardon. All right, the other observation I'm just going to make is uh, the different trucks. I think is it the uh, power team esports are slightly lo shorter logs than pinnacle loggers interesting might yeah for a longer log just trying to see if there's a difference trying to pick that out but we are three minutes into the match i'm gonna pick it's about a what minute and a half drive down to that cell point if you yes something like that Arx. and i'm uh, sure they were aware of this map obviously a little bit before but they didn't <coughs> know where the uh, positioning of the uh, points were so they only found that out about half an hour before, but I'm sure they will have done some tests on how quickly they can get from one point to another. So, 
yeah but we think it's roughly a minute and a half so as long as they're out of here um with a little bit of time left we should uh, we should be good yep in fact i've just realized my time is not up on obs i'll need to fix that ah well i will keep you abreast of that situation Uh, sort of that quiet phase of just cutting and loading that are doing that as fast as they can and I think we're already seeing whether it's the advantage of the flat areas the easy access or anything like that much bigger loads of logs than we've had before so yes I think they'll definitely get more stuff in won't they um, 100% so see if I can get yep. this resolve this issue with <clears throat> my timer shouldn't be too difficult to do the other thing I'm noticing just with that tally hand, the Power Team Esports seem to be able to make a tidier load of logs too. It's almost like the grapple on the Volvo Bow load is just a little bit too big for Jimmy to get into the back of the truck properly. But yes, I think I think that it's it, I think it's the length on the uh, on the telehandler as well. I see uh, Obelix has got it extended quite a lot, which has given him yeah that you've not got the the vehicle or the arms of the vehicle getting in the way of the spikes mm. on the trailer they've got i mean crikey they have mm. loaded a lot of locks onto that haven't they they have yeah they're fair flying through this now interestingly though the length of the logs almost too low long for that front truck that front truck yeah you have to stack them up sitting on top of the cab and that's going to limit the amount of logs they can take on this load i would think that is an interesting one because you would have thought that would have been checked pre uh pre-round starting yeah. but uh, interesting five minute warning go just coming in through. I've got the timer up now so I'm good and in fact Doblix is going to try and put some more logs on at the very back and I wonder if they've communicated the issue and Velo's shortened things down but El Papito yeah, just moving cool. forward a few feet there just to help Oblix get a better uh, alignment with the logs on the back that is impressive loading I've got to say oh I tell you what, my only concern, and we've seen it before, you get a top heavy load of logs yes. and stack too high, that truck will end up on its side if uh, El Pepito is not careful going around a couple of those corners, that especially is, the tight bends. That is very true, Ox, very true. And look, we've got yeah. modern logging, keeping an eye on things um, up in yes. the sky there, keeping an eye on the competition. I like that, I like that. That's it. Mm. Mm. Must say, we've got a very good vibe between the teams. They are very uh, cordial towards each other nice and helpful when it comes to giving up space or anything like that and very supportive of them so they are indeed yeah. nice to see hmm. Jimmy Sims struggling just a little bit he's got a log behind his rear wheels there which was just kind of hindering hindering him slightly as he was loading up those logs but I'm interested to see if this uh, log length difference is going to come to anything at the end not sure if That's they'll right. be you know if they leave at the same time and arrive at the, the uh, finish point at the same time is there going to be much of a difference? Hmm, it will be interesting to see. So Tart Car Team Esports have carried on with the length of logs they had, so they are having to stack them sort of a little bit awkwardly on the front okay. of the truck. Interesting. It's hard to tell. That, uh, um, it's hard to tell the the quantities. What well, with the longer logs on the bigger trailer versus the, the shorter logs on the shorter trailers, you can't really judge who's in the lead, really, can you? No, not at all. It's very difficult. So we're down to just coming up to three minutes to go so the teams will be thinking about uh disbanding from here and heading on down to the cell point very soon quite a lot of logs on the floor still for the guys uh from pinnacle here but uh, jimmy sims definitely going to get this next load in kegarino's going for another tree which i probably think they'll probably have time to get in as well before that kind of it's just going to come down to one to and a half minutes space, to go. i think it is i think it is it's not the tidiest trail load here. Um, we've got things kind of twisted and kind of limited the amount they can load up, but we've got some right. disco I'm logs as well. Yeah. We've got some lag with yeah, the logs. Yeah, Team Esports are on their way out. They're heading to the cell point oh, with wow. just over two minutes left on the timer, so we will head down with them. We've actually lost a log on the way. Our torpedoes had one drop off. I don't know whether it wasn't in the, on the trailer, and we definitely are getting those dancing logs on the back, so fingers crossed that doesn't cause any dramas yeah okay the guys uh, the guys from Pinnacle are away um, their logs look like they've disappeared off their trailer altogether but I am pretty sure that's a that's a little ping effort yeah they're playing catch up with them so 
Let's just follow yeah, them along same, here. Exactly the same issue here for uh, Power Team Esports as we watch them come along the road. El Pepito was very cautious going around that corner. I think he realised he had quite a bit of uh, a top-heavy nature on the truck. Oh, and Methy Boy went for a short cargs and he's clipped one of the lower trees um, and had oh, to... He, they would have shaved off a massive amount of time uh, if he'd uh, not Pepito's, clipped that tree. He's just trying to find his way into the correct entrance. He's just coming up to it now, of course, like we said before. The guys are not too familiar with where they were heading. It was a little bit of a uh, last-minute surprise on them, but he's negotiated that easily. And he's going to get across the finish line with probably 50 seconds left. That's interesting, isn't it? Now. So maybe um, hmm. peaked a little bit too early, the guys there. They could have maybe thrown Possibly. a few more logs on. Yeah. But Matthew Boy has missed the turn. He has clattered into the fence on the other side. Went in a bit too hot there, but in fact, he's changed... He's going to cut the, the corner. He's going to come up. He is. I don't know what he's doing here. Where's he going? Was he uh, a little bit worried about access and not being able to turn around? There is fences along the side of the road in some areas. Possibly. Um, yeah, we're counting going? down. We're down to 24 seconds. <laughs> down to the last 20 seconds. It looks like he's going to sneak back through the forest at the back. We're going to have to get Hamish to say, is that count as crossing the finish line getting to the cell point? Yeah. It is through a uh, He's now, a uh, he actually route. hasn't really got a route through here, Ox. Kind of, it might be, he might be having to run the river here, or along the edge this of the river. <laughs> this could have been close, but I think actually <clears throat> what's happened now, Ox, is they've maybe just shot themselves in the foot a little bit. Possibly. My gut feel, and just looking at it, I think Power Team Esports had more logs anyhow, so yes. I think they were going to win it on value, um, which we'll find out very soon. But certainly, here we go, so he's managed to find a way through the back. A little bit unorthodox. There we go, we've had the timer stopped at uh, 27 seconds over the time, so. Okay. It'll be a case of now unloading and seeing who comes up with the best uh, profit. Yeah, interesting. No, but good first round. Enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. It did too, yeah. Definitely. Uh, it's always nice to see that innovation and the teams coming out with fresh ways to thinking. It'll be interesting to see come round three if any of the other teams look at what how Team Esports have innovated here with the tally handler and make their own decision. That was very interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, hmm. Considerable amount of logs loaded with that, so it looks very efficient. And it was. Mm. Right. Just wait for them to get them sold and see who gets what. Of course, Power Team Esports, one of the uh, uh, FSL teams as well. So they're used to kind of competing under pressure. And uh, I think they really, really showed their metal there today, didn't they? They have, yeah, definitely. And uh, their communication was on point. You could tell little, just little spots. Here we go. Yeah. They've sold all but one log. Um, just a couple of spots there where Alpha Pito and Oblix with their communication around unloading seem to come through really clutch. Um, confidence obviously high off the back of uh, round one as well, Ox. Yes. Yes, definitely. There we go. Power Team Esports getting out of the way now. And Matthew Boy will bring a truck in from the guys from Pinnacle Loggers. Get that. <coughs> Other than that little uh, mistake at the end there. We'll see how they've done. I think there's done. a deceptive amount of logs on their trailer. Yeah. There's more than you might think. I think you're right. I do think you're right, Ox. So just while they get that sorted out, just a little bit of background and insight into how the map was selected. So we uh, put three maps towards the teams and let them vote on which map they wanted to use here for round two. So uh, the vote was overwhelmingly in support here at Denlands. I think it was sort of 70% of the votes were to play on this map. So the, uh, the teams are having a say in where they head to with each round. Very nice to hear. Yes, indeed. Right, we are... Hamish is just typing in the chat now. We will have the initial results through and confirmed any second now. And then we'll jump straight into... The mm. second round. Indeed.
Just while we're waiting for that to come up, of course, hello to everyone in both the streams. Welcome along. Thank you for tuning in here. Season 2, round 2 of a lot. And we're just waiting for these schools to come through. There we go, Ox. So it's through. On top. Mm. Mm. The wow, team look at that schools. income. Yeah, crossing the line with 44 seconds left on the clock. And a massive 40,000 litres of logs. Um, Pinnacle running 26 seconds over and only had 23,000 uh, logs available as well. So I think an overwhelmingly uh, big win there for the Power Team Esports guys. Very impressive. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. The uh, the difference they hit between the two. I, I thought it was closer than that when yeah. I looked at it a second time, but um, that's a massive, massive difference. So you know, forty thousand five hundred and seventy six dollars power team esports just off their logs and pinnacle were at twenty five thousand eight 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 and took a bit of a penalty at the end but that's right um, yeah very very overwhelming victory very overwhelming indeed right i am going to fly over to our second point so you can see the two trucks there waiting ready to go for the second round fly over here somewhere in here is some equipment pop my, my map up so I can find it. There we go. <laughs> Straight on. Well, here we are. And this will be the Logmeisters versus Modern Logging. There's Farming Alex, Tobias, and Faban already here. We'll be waiting for you, a few of the other guys to arrive, and then it will be good to go. More traditional equipment here. <coughs> But I wonder, so. you're um, right, after after watching Power Team Esports there, I wonder if there'll be some discussions in teams after this round. Yeah, I, I wouldn't surprise me if there is. Um, of course, the other two operators are at their trucks waiting to drive here, so we do have all the teams waiting and ready to go, although Mark's standing with Alex, so we've got one, one member of the team's not quite here yet. That's right. Hopefully it's you and not me, Chinook, with the audio cutting out, but let me know if there is a... Is you did issue. have a little crackle before, Args, but you're back now. I think it might be my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Args right, is struggling so. a bit. He's not well, but he's still here for Login League. <laughs> yes, I can't turn my head too quickly one direction. Mowing lawns with a right on lawn mowing can still injure yourself. <laughs> J-Mac Trucking, what have you missed? You've just missed a very impressive round from the guys at Power Team Esports. I think probably one of the largest loads we've ever seen in uh, in Login League, actually, Ox. It's I, fair to say. Yeah, I would say that would be. I would say that, and, and quite safely say that was would be our record load. Yeah. Ten, ten minutes and you've sold forty thousand dollars worth of trees. It's a uh, it's a pretty impressive money maker. That's why forestry is such a lucrative way for a start from scratch map or something Indeed. like that of course you're not going to have a tally handler truck and forestry harvester to do it all with but still all right so we're just waiting for another just member now uh oh, we do have starters orders here okay who's uh who's missing I'm just trying to make make out here whether one of the teams is only playing with two. I'm not quite sure. Actually, going to have a quick look at the team list. We've got Modern Logging with Farming Alex and Samu, so no Samu at the moment. It seems. Interesting. Yeah. Like Alex is just going to go for it himself. I suppose mm, the issue. The, 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 it's not a huge issue, really, is it? Because until you've got a pile of trees cut to the right length. Um, you don't need to use the grab, and by that point, the truck driver's usually here anyway. So, um, from yeah, that that's perspective, right. it might it might not cause too much of an issue. And obviously, the guys have thought about that and mm. just decided to go for it anyway. Mm. And we saw it last uh, last round. We had one of the teams play two men, and uh, they gave a good fist of it. That's right. That's right. And we've seen in the past actually as well, haven't we? Our volume of logs, even on the solo rounds, isn't drastically different to that of the three. Uh, the three player team rounds, so. No, that's right. That's right. They're both with their first yeah, tree down. Hmm. 
Dare I say that uh, Power Team Esports could have possibly hit 50k if they had more space on their truck. Didn't yes. Think about that. Yes, it's a very good point. Yeah. So we are in the phase of just <coughs> gathering as many logs as they can. Mm. Um, we will see the trucks arriving very soon. Tobias doing a good job moving the felled logs out of the way there to give Faban as much space as possible. Alex, unfortunately, well, doesn't have, have that luxury. Taken, yeah, the trucks have taken different routes. So we've got the first truck coming in here on the right-hand side, which is modern logging. And uh, the other truck will come in behind where you are. Interesting. SG, but, yeah. I wonder if they're pre-planning routes to determine which is the fastest. Yeah, I'm not sure, not sure which is to just see modern logging, taking out some of the logs to buy some stacked. <laughs> shift the Meister coming in in the other direction. Yep, there we go. See, the teams are working in closer proximity here on this course. Uh, and kind of split up as far as the other two teams did. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? They've just literally gone as quickly as they can to the logs. Hmm. Oh. A little bit of a lack of communication there from Alex and Modern Logging, both moving into the same space. Now, remember, Modern Logging's a bit of a wizard when it comes to loading... Uh, Loading the trailers with this grab, so he's uh, mm. just very. Oh, it's like a buttery smooth move that was. He was rotating, mm. swinging the logs around, and dropping them onto the trailer all at the same time. Very nicely done. Well, you know what I can see happening here? Farming Alex is almost cutting for barn out of trees, kind of going directly across the corner yeah, of that little section. <clears throat> and definitely, I would say the modern logging team do have more logs cut and trees on the ground yep. already so it's definitely an advantage there for them at the moment yep. now, Tobias equally as adept with the loading operation as modern logging is it's uh, very impressive to see and again like last time Args um, Taban and Tobias they're much longer logs than Alex and modern logging so uh, yeah. again different different approaches they're kind of hoping and guessing you know if they load them neatly which they are doing they'll be able to get more more wood on hmm it's least handling too isn't it Tobias is what it might look like modern logging you have more logs on the ground it's because they're shorter and yep. uh, Alex has cut them to a shorter length but I don't think modern logging watching him use that grab is going to have any issues picking those up no they're both there's some impressive impressive people have been practicing it's safe to say. Now, Faban's got a log stuck in his tracks here, which I think is stopping him moving forward, actually. There he is. He's just freed himself. We can go and grab Tobias another. Going into grab uh, both Tobias and Modern Logging are pretty, <coughs> pretty cool with this grab, aren't they? They are. Very much so. All right, so we're coming up on five minutes gone, just on five minutes or four minutes twenty down, so almost halfway. Teams will start being to, getting to think about how they finish this off and get their trucks moving down to the cell point. Now we're heading to a different cell point for this one too. We are. It's, I would say it's almost location. a little bit closer, isn't it, Args? It is, yeah. It probably should head out and you'll see the way that uh, Modern Logging located and positioned his truck facing the direction he has because I think that will be the quickest route to get to the next of the cell yep. points. I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, in fact, if I just jump to my map quickly... Uh, while they are loading up, I'll show you that uh, obviously there's where they're working and here is where the cell point is between fields 25 and 26. So um, they've literally got to follow this track all the way out of the forest and then they hit it straight away. Same as for the five minute warning. Great looking load of logs that Tobias and Schiffermeister have managed to put together. And uh, Tobias is actually not happy with the position of the hay bale and has just thrown that out of the way with the grab. So. I tell okay, you. There's a new challenge for your FSG using that excavator on court yeah. farms. Bale tossing. Uh, for bale loading. Bale loading. <laughs> I tell you, it's hard to judge who's got the most logs here, because I think this is pretty close in terms of um, quantities. Yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely is. It's going to be a close round, this one. Like you say, the only difference is 
Modern logging are pointing, ready to head out. Schiffelmeister is mm. going to have to do a manoeuvre to get himself ready. Yeah. But Still plenty of time, though. I've got another two minutes, I would say, of potential cutting and loading here. We could be getting to a point, Args, where people run out of space in their trucks before time is up. If they keep improving like they are, in terms of the speed mm. of loading, um, we're going to have a different problem on our hands. Yeah. One thing to talk about we uh, with the leaderboards, which you can see on the Logging League website, uh, check out where everyone is positioned at the moment, there is bonus points available for finishing within the time, so unfortunately in the last match, Nickel Loggers missed out on potential 10 points, I think it is, just by taking the wrong route to the cell point. That's so right. even though they lost, they could have grabbed that 10 points, which could come in crucial when it comes to the final rankings. That's right, good point, Ox, oh, good point. JMac, thank you for the super chat, my friend. That is very much appreciated. All right, three minutes to go, getting to the pointy end of this match. Um, but you're right. I think it, these guys are getting pretty close to a full truck. Shiftmaster doesn't have too much room left on there, and Tobias is actually struggling to get them to sit up there. But oh yes, he's yeah, just pushing right off the, off the top. Side. Yeah, I think yeah. same issue here for modern logging. They may be able to squeeze a few on the front. Yeah, they. In fact, Tobias lost both those logs he was trying to get on, so it's coming down to these last sort of cr clutch moments as to see who will get the most. I wonder if that log that's on the side here of uh, Modern Logging's truck could cause a problem when they strap it down, because that could. Oh yes, I see that. Drag along and become a bit of an obstruction. But Alex has no, Alex decided to uh, sort that out. <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, created a bit of a problem on the other side. I've got to say, though, right, two for just the two of them together, that is a fairly good effort from the guys, isn't it? It certainly is. Very sharp. Two minutes to go. We're getting the warning there. And Alex is strapped and off. Yeah, Alex is gone. Right, I shall follow Alex. In fact, Schiffelmeister is strapped down, and he's trying to get his truck turned around. He's grappling with logs, stumps, trees about everything making it hard for him to face the right direction Tobias is actually giving the truck a push to try and get them turned out of there this could actually be a problem for them not sure what he's stuck on but he's really struggling to get going oh interesting Tobias is using the uh, he's using the grapple to try and help turn him around there we go they look like they're disconnected from where they need to be now just on a minute though to get to where he needs to be and he's uh he's reversing to get turned around this is this is not ideal for them it's the one all right it's warming. facing the right way now it's facing the right way now so let's see how he goes and getting to where he needs to be he's gonna roll the truck no shufflemeister is on his side oh the time no. uh that is gonna be it done for them i think um modern logging the competition has jumped into his grapple immediately and is trying to help them get that truck righted. And look at that. One grab on a log and he's pulled him back up on his wheels. Oh, fantastic. Like Great I said, teamwork. Like I said before, yeah. Well, that's the competitors helping them out, which is nice to see. Yeah, love that. A friendly two and a thank you in the chat. So there we go. But, oh, could have been so much worse for them. It's Alex is be. just arriving at the sell point here. Oh, cause he's just about to break the finish line with six, five seconds left. So time to perfection. Well timed to perfection. Time to perfection by the guys. Mm. And it would have been close. What a shame. What a shame. It would have, that would have been incredibly close if he'd been able to uh, firstly get turned around. And obviously that time he lost just, just a little bit faster than he should have. Yeah. His logmeisters were up, up until that point were doing a phenomenal job. Mm. Phenomenal job. Once again, it'll be interesting to see whether they lose on value and penalties. Win on value and lose on penalties. Right, so Hamish is ensuring that uh, uh, Alex is getting these sold before the logmeisters Shuff arrive. And Shufflemeister's just leaving the forest and we'll go straight over the road. Into the cell point with about a 50 second penalty. No! He's going to roll again. 
Schiffelmeister is over and he does not look at him trying to edge over the finish line sideways he's got momentum (laughs) that's brilliant that's such a (laughs) pretty much oh Oh, Schiffelmeister yep that is a lot of heavy logs on there so we they do have permission to uh, super strength that back on its wheels now now he's crossed the finish line um he can, in fact, uh, modern logging is going to use a track this time to try and write them, or at least push them across the cell point. Just yeah, one side, or the other, sideways across the cell point. I've got to say that's two great rounds, though, in terms of speed and uh, and the amount of logs that they're managing to uh, gather up. It's really been. impressive, isn't it? It has been incredibly impressive. Uh, yeah, Jay Mack in the, the Jay Mack in the, the chat. Yeah. yeah, Mark's spoiling it for everybody. <laughs> J Max saying in the chat here, I love that farmers helping other farmers. Yep, that is the first rule of farming, right? It's the spirit in which it's all being played. Yes, it is very enjoy. good. Very good indeed. <laughs> Shufflemeister's just staying in the track. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's had enough. All right, oh. Hamish is in now. Yeah. Hamish has got it under control. Um, just waiting for Jimmy Sim to join, who's uh, going to be playing in our next heat, Heat 3, which is mm. a 1v1v1, our first of the night, so yes. should be good fun. Right. I think we've got a combination here of super strength going on, trying to turn that truck over and uh, modern logging pushing it. But Here we go, I think we've got it now. Yeah, here we go. Too far. Hamish has squashed himself with the truck load of logs. Is this what you call a Scottish fling? Something, yes. Yeah, that's just basically ca- yeah. caber tossing. <laughs> Edge caber tossing. <laughs> All right, we'll just uh, some of the guys coming in for the next round while we sort this mm. out. So we'll just uh, talk among ourselves for a little moment. Yeah. There we go. Yes. And next one. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's coming in. Uh, hard case. It's all good. It's all good. I do quite like these faster games, Arx. I don't know about you. I know uh, I know it's one of the big changes from last season, but uh, uh, these, these yeah, quick 10 minutes game kind of... Matches. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Create a bit of... Uh, yeah, it is nice. Urgency to things. Hmm. And we're not seeing things being too much different in terms of selling and those kind of things. We're seeing similar size loads and um, that kind of thing. So I don't think it's really changed the dynamic. Add to that the, the loading the logs onto the trailers because it gives them a little bit more, uh, requires a little bit more accuracy, but also allows for a little bit more innovation when you see things like the uh, tally handler. Um, the different trucks being used, we didn't see any of those trucks with the uh, crane on them being used last season. So. That's right, that's right, yeah. So, um, here we go. Right, Shufflemeister will sell those. Good. And we'll see, uh, Hamish will be straight back in with uh, the scores in not mm. too much time. Now, um, in terms of our next, I will fly over to it while uh, Hamish is sorting the scores out. We are going to fly south. We're going to fly over the uh, point that we were at last time. So there's uh, the remnants of the game we just had. And just a little bit further south is our staging port for round three. And getting our first uh, solo match for the day, which is exciting. That's right. Let's see how the boys tackle this one today. The solos were interesting last time, actually. I quite enjoyed those. Uh, yes, they two were. Two cracking they? matches so far. Mm. So here cracking we are. Matches. Uh, and they have all their equipment here, so they have their trailers here as well. Um, and remember, Coelho, who was our new player this season, um, I think it opened a lot of people's eyes when he turned up with the Hannibal um, chopper. He did. Performed yeah. very well with it, didn't he? So he's back again mm. with that and the high lift. Yeah. 
Right, I'm just going to go through the results from the last match, FSG, they're up there. Um, Modern Logging and Logmeisters. So, Modern Logging came in with 5 seconds to spare, sold $31,000 worth of wood, and they have come out victorious, and Logmeisters, however, they'll be a little bit frustrated with this. They had $4,000 more wood on their truck, $35,000, but because of that time, they took an almost $6,000 penalty, which ended them up with just under 30000 So. From being in a winning position of having 4,000 more, they lost by 2,000 because of that time delay. So Interesting. it would have been really close. Would have been really close if modern uh, if they hadn't rolled that truck. Sorry, Shufflemeister hadn't rolled the truck on the way out. I think the penalty they could have actually won that one just having more wood, but taking a small penalty. So yeah, fine margins. Modern there. logging winning. Fine margins. Yeah, there is in that one. Incredibly Excellent. fine, and that was again impressive showing for modern logging as a two-man team there. That's, yes, that's right, yeah. Mm, just uh, unfortunate for Logmeisters with that little roll. And showed, do you know what it showed to me was the benefit of facing the truck, orientating tr the truck in the right direction yep. when they first arrived onto the site. Uh, not having to turn around or do any of that mucking around. Yep. They didn't have to na navigate that. The truck was empty. There was no risk of it tipping. Um, yeah, yeah, just yeah. planning ahead. Those fine margins. Planning ahead, yeah. and yeah, that was the difference. Mm. Uh, great round. Right. Loved that round. Really yeah. good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, two good ones so far. Right, let's see if these solo guys can uh, carry on that kind of performance. Yes, indeed. Right, we are just waiting um, for the green light to get started. Uh, hello to everyone who's joining in chat and saying hello there. Nice to have you here. Uh, welcome, indeed. welcome. Welcome along, everyone. So Mark Haythamthwaite is our bail today. He is the starting point. The boys have to go and stand around him and uh he'll be he? setting oh, him off in just a minute there is. so Faban, Coelho and Jimmy Sim here battling this one out Jimmy Sim has the Horsh Iron Man costume out Coelho and Faban both dressed up in their forestry equipment I don't know what that means about Jimmy if there's a performance if he thinks he needs to have a uh, full face helmet on yo they're off. they're off well I tell you what that uh that outfit got him to his equipment first, so maybe there's a little bit of a speed perk there. Yeah, not slowing him down anyway. No. Right. I'm saying that, Coelho's the first one out, and who's going to get to a tree first? That's, Coelho's swung back around, and he's hitting the trees behind him, which is interesting. I think that's the other a smart two guys have gone straight on. Yeah, I do too. I think he's probably predicted everybody else would go straight on, so. Yeah. To avoid fighting over that's the same trees, he's. He's making That's his right. own little space. Look at it very nicely by the side of the road here. Mm. Now, so the only challenge here, Rags, I've just spotted, yes. is there are a lot of small trees just here, just, just underneath you there, whereas the guys across the road, everything is a big tree. So he's yeah. going to have to pick his yeah. way through to get to the big trees here. That might be a slight disadvantage. Yeah, Although using the uh, Hannibal, he can go through, cut them, keep them vertical, and bring them back out before he tips them down too. So he doesn't Very have to true. drag a tree through through those small ones. Very true. Oh, got a pause. No worries. I'm looking at Jimmy Sim seems to be having a few difficulties with cutting trees. I wonder if there's missions not quite set up for him. We'll just wait while uh, this is resolved by uh, Hamish. Keybind, Keybind issue. issue. Ah, right, okay. I think it's only fair we allow him to fix that. Mm. Alright, so we're sort of all holding. Well, those trees just falling down. Interesting, these guys, they, they look like they're a couple of angry loggers ready to go. And there we go, yeah. Jimmy's looks yeah. like he's got his keybind fixed. It has cut, so let's just wait and see. Now back underway by the looks of things. Yeah. Barnes cutting a tree. Restart on voice yeah. chat, right. So Okay, good to go. Hamish will be in chat with these guys, telling them when to start. And the time is running, so they're back up and going. So hopefully that won't have had too much of an impact on Jimmy. Um, we shall see later on. Hmm, interesting to see he's dragged his logs right out into the middle of the road and there's actually no way past for the truck at the moment. 
Yeah, interesting. He might have to uh, make sure he moves those relatively quickly because he's blocking the other teams mm. at the moment. Mm. The band just working away over there as well. It's a, it's a different uh, different pace to these matches because obviously the, the three players are all focusing on getting trees cut down. There's no load logging, lo load loading, sorry. There's no trucks arriving. It's kind of this staged approach to the whole match that's right and you've got to consider how much time you leave for loading as well don't you which you don't have, mm. you have to worry less about in the team rounds so um mm. now the cell point is heading down to the original one the first one we used for match number one that's right they are not too far away from where we were for match number one i think head straight down this road and i'll be just about at the cell point so pretty easy course for them yeah and that is one one thing with this map. Um, it's obviously the same for all teams, but it is certainly a much easier drive than some of the off-road tracks that were on Silver Empire. That's right. Yeah, it's a totally different type of approach, isn't it? it which is, is which is fun. For each team, though, so. mm. Brings a whole different nice set of challenges with it, doesn't it? it does. Faban has got seriously impressive load here. I've not checked out Coelho for a bit, but. Looks like he's doing well, okay as well. Well, looking really nice. Very neat and tidy. And he's got the high lift as well, Arg. So you remember how ah. many logs you can pick up in one go with that. Yeah. It's not bad. I was, uh, I was wondering, actually. I wasn't clear on whose equipment was whose here, so... Well, well, well really taking time to align his... Really taking time to align his logs up there before he cut, which was impressive. Jeez, until he cut one and it pushed some out of the way. Which is always the problem trying to stack them neatly. Pretty equal amounts, and interestingly, it looks like the barn's gone for a longer log than Jimmy has. Yes. Definitely has. Um, Faban has left his stumps quite high though. Yeah, so he's going to struggle to run mm. over the top of those, which could cause him some issues when loading, to be honest. Hmm. Although he's a uh, he's a grapple loader, isn't he? So he, he is. Can park yes. His truck next to it and get the grapple weed side. I think he'll just be picking up a couple at a time, spinning them on. That's right. And taking the time to get rid of the uh, skinny wood on the top of the tree as well. Yeah. Actually, the flip side of that, oh. yeah, he should be fine, but uh, he could use those high stumps as actually a uh, a barrier so he could load up against it Excellent. if he wanted to. Yeah, that's right. Now, interesting, he's decided the closest tree to him is actually over the road, so he's crossed across, rather than running around all those stumps, which is kind of a clever little tactic too. Hmm, Coelho's just done the same, actually. Come over to the other side and grabbed a tree. Coming up on five minutes, so we're halfway through. I'll get the five minute warning on the chat in just a minute, and uh, I'm just looking there. No one's yet made an approach towards the trucks. No one started yep. loading or even looking at it, they're still in that sort of let's cut phase. Who's going to flinch and move first? So Coelho. Jimmy, Coelho. Out of his... Oh, yeah, Jimmy's. He's jumping around again. What is Jimmy doing? He's just standing in one spot jumping. Ah, he's lagged. We've got two Jimmys on the screen for me. Ah, yes. He's in his truck as well. He's in his truck now. Faban also in his truck. Faban accidentally disconnecting his trailer as well. Now here we see the issue Jimmy had by putting those logs where he did. Yeah. Kind of uh, obstructing some of the others and... Coelho's going to have fun getting his truck down to where he needs it when he chooses to, and we're running down to four minutes, so... Yeah, I think um, we'll see what will happen here. I'm kind of hoping that by Faban and uh, Jimmy moving their vehicles out of the way, there will be enough space here for Coelho to get his truck through. He's on his way now, so this hmm. is this is definitely going to be interesting. Hmm. I don't see Jimmy's not moved either. I don't know what's going on with him. He's having some network issues, connection issues. Oh, yeah, no, Jimmy's gone. Jimmy right. has gone. So I'll just wait and see if Hamish is going to pause proceedings there. Well, I was just rallying through the trees in the absence of any uh, pause yet. 
He's just cracking on, which I don't blame him for. So is Faban, actually. Yeah. Uh, he's paused now. We've got to pause while we see if uh, Jimmy can reconnect. But Coelho had worked his way through that challenging gap there. Hmm. Pretty, pretty well. So uh, I don't think it's slowed Did, him down yeah, much. No. No. And of course, this is the uh, the fun and joys of having a competition run entirely online with competitors from all around the world joining in to play there is always right. that rel reliance on a good solid internet connection and some of the vagaries of those do lead to players dropping out um i mean even you and i have had issues before dropping out midway through something so we have indeed we have indeed yeah. helps. um i'm just going to take the chance to uh, say hello to Carl TG Modding, who's just popped into chat and said, "Oh man, I can see a really familiar map here. <laughs> and this is Carl TG's map." Welcome, Carl. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for the map. Yeah, it's nice to uh, nice to be here and nice to be tackling a logging league on a bit of a different challenge, and it's uh, certainly dished up some good matches so far. It has indeed. It has indeed. And we've got JGIV. How do you get into this? Um, asking in the chat here. We do have a a uh, website loggingleague.com which you can go and check out entries for this season have closed but uh, by all means check it out and uh, prep yourself for uh, maybe season 3 get practicing mm. now yeah I'll just wait and see if Jimmy's going to be able to reconnect here or not Bellows flashing. He's keen to go. He wants to get back into it. He does. He, uh, I think he feels like he's uh, in with a sh in with a chance of uh, pulling this round off as the winner. Hmm. Uh, JRGV, I mean, can really you find teams and stuff on there? There is information on there, G uh, JGIV, and you can also join the Discord, the Logging League Discord as well. And um, in fact, we have a few teams that were created from in, uh, from solos looking for other team members. And in fact. Dare I say it, I think our winners from last season in the team round started off as three solo players that just got together and uh, went on and won the whole thing. Yeah, they did, they did. Right, let's see, how long do we wait here? Hmm, I was just going to say, FSG, there's really, to me at the moment, with three and a half minutes left, no one has a clear advantage. Um, for Barn is closest to starting loading, but no one has a log on their truck yet. So yeah, gonna be, uh, gonna be a frantic last little period. And three and a half minutes doesn't take that long. Well, it actually takes three and a half minutes, but <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> but it will feel very quick, is what I was it trying will to fly say. By. Yeah, I know they'll be counting down. At what stage do they need to stop? Like, is always that temptation to throw one more log onto the back, um, at the risk of not finishing in time, attracting a penalty. Watching one of your competitors leave before you do. Um, That's right. All sorts of, I guess, a bit of a uh, psychological gameplay coming in there. That's right. Tactics, and I still think we're probably. There's probably a minute and a half still to the sell point. I don't think it's massively uh, less it's than long the other two no. rounds. So. No. It's a straight line, so they're not going to roll them onto the side. Well, not until they turn into the, into the road for the sell point. But uh, mm. distance wise, it's as. Roughly the same as the others. Hamish has done a good job in making mm. things uh, pretty balanced on this map. He has, absolutely. So Jimmy's back. We're just synchronising with him, and then hopefully mm. we'll it's be able lost. to jump straight into it and get these last three minutes sorted. Mm. So coming up after this, we do have a, another solo match, don't we? Am I correct? Uh, I you are correct, dogs. Yeah, Kegarino versus Methy Boy versus Bob so uh, yes should be should make for a good round hmm yep so we'll get that game underway once we've finished with this and that'll leave us with uh, another teams match and two more solos to round out round two right for Logging League it's season two uh, we'll have a server reset in there in between um, but we will have Kigarino, Methy Boy and Bob they will be on a course we haven't seen yet either right that's James Sinton, I'm assuming. I'm doing very well, thank you, Amy. Thank you for asking. Enjoying Login League. Been fun tonight. Enjoyed it so far. Mm, so far. Right, that's James. 
Gonna make it in. Not sure. He's joined the server. Right, Jimmy's he back in his truck. truck. So I think we're just make waiting sure he's on the. He's joined the farm. Got permissions. Green light from Hamish, and we'll be good to go. Just make sure he has all the correct permissions. Although loading. Right. There we go. Time we is up, off. and they are moving back underway. For Ban here. First two logs on his shocking pink truck and trailer, which I do like a lot. <laughs> All right. Well, Coelho and Jimmy have not got much space between them here for their loading, so this is going to be interesting to see what happens. Barn definitely has an advantage with the space down there. Let's just wait and see what happens with these two. Coelho, yes, as you said, does have the, uh, the big grapple loader, big high lift. things organised there to try and load some logs up. Ban here having a bit of a nightmare. He's picked up a log right at the end of it. And in fact, he's given up and thrown it back onto the pile and is going to try and grab it more centrally because uh, he just could not get it onto the trailer. Coelho going for his first grab here. If he can get the logs that he has... Oh, no. Typically frustrating physics there. They popped out a little bit, but he was almost going to pick up a good third to a half of his stack in one go. Has not quite worked out for him, but he's still got a decent amount there as we come down to 2 minutes 20 to go. I'm going to keep a close eye on this time reference too, because I think that is going to come into play big time. It is indeed. Paul Faban is just not getting the rub of the green here with these uh, trees at all. Um, everything he picks up is not just wanting to sit on the trailer neatly, so uh, but I think he might have got himself a little bit of a rhythm now with 2 minutes to go. Alright, so... Coelho is sort of trying to get these logs in the right spot to drop on the trailer. Jimmy's having real issues trying to pick his up. He can't, hasn't got any logs yet. He gave up on one stack and he's gone to another one. So I don't know whether he's having some more network issues which are making it hard for him. Um, but we're not going to see the, certainly the price of logs that we got last time. And do you know what? This is one of those points where you've got to be watching the other players and deciding... How do you play this? Do you want to go now? I mean, Coelho could go now uh, and get inside the time limit. Um, or he That's wants right. to try and get another load in um, because he can move I'd, quite a lot of logs. Yeah, I'm just looking at what he's picking up now. If he can get that all, you know, 90% of that on the trailer, I would be jumping in the cab. I'd be out of here. Yeah. Yeah. We're coming up to one minute left, Ox, so I don't think yeah. anybody's going to hit this within the time limit so no um, interesting one to call first logs loaded up so Coelho has Taking got a time huge amount the there uh, he's getting stuck on the trailer there at the end though just one yeah, rogue log hanging he's just trying to position himself to get that one past of course he can twist the grapple around a little bit but He's using a bit of momentum there. In their he? movements and all the way they're logging, like the way for Barnes stacking, what Jimmy's trying to do. These guys are uh, really worried, but look at that. Coelho's just doubled what he had inside, and that is him going. For Barnes um, away as well. Get out. For Barnes doesn't want that penalty. No. Oh. Clip the high lift on the way out, and Coelho's going at the same time. Oh, for Barnes got stuck, which has allowed Coelho to get out in front of him. Oh, and he's got the logs hanging out the back. It's that it's long trailer. Yeah, it's a mixture of long trailer and uh, a few logs hanging out the side that just messed him up a bit there. But there goes Faban. Right. This is going to be close, Ox. Although I do think Coelho is. is rocking a lot more logs. I think so too. I think Coelho has definitely managed to load a lot more. Uh, but there's still a second well place up for grabs? There is. And mindful if you don't finish in the two minutes or well, 12 minutes total, you're uh, considered a DNF, so that's another consideration for them. That's right, and we are 30 seconds over time already. Yep. Let's just see how they go navigating the entrance here to the cell point. Coelho's just approaching it now, he's trying to make sure he gets down the right one. DJ Bob's there watching. He's found it, and he's turning in. Faban is cutting the corner. Faban has taken a big leap to the oh, right. Yes. He's cutting through the fields. Well spotted. And that saved Faban. himself. That saved himself ten seconds. He's People gonna go through pretty ahead. much line of stern behind behind Coelho. 
Oh, oh no. no! That log that was hanging out of the side, log. he's absolutely... Yeah, split the tree. He's going to have to reverse quite hard here. And his wheels are stuck there. Oh, dear oh. me. He could not have picked that. Oh, my goodness. He's going to have to really negotiate around that. There he is. Well done, Faban. Well done, mate. And that's yeah, all done. because he had a rogue log sticking out of the side. I think a little bit of decorum and just, you know, taking a deep breath and letting Coelho go through first. Yeah. Pushed it just that fraction too far. A oh, win on the road nice. does not mean everything, does it? No, that's right. And I've just come back out to the road and I can see Jimmy Sims is running along. He has got 10 seconds. He's not going to make it here in time, unfortunately. So not the best competition for him. In fact, he's crashed with one of the fences. It does really narrow down here. So uh, some, a whole lot of new challenges that this map has brought for the yeah. players. I am going to have to say a big apology to some of the local farmers as well who have lost a lot of crop <laughs> with trucks I, I, <laughs> battering through their fields tonight. <laughs> I think fortunately we own the whole map, so... Oh, uh, okay. We're good then. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not sure about you. I'm not planning on getting in here and harvesting. I <laughs> also think cotton might be a bit of an uncommon crop in Finland. Oh, Jimmy has uh, Jimmy's, thrown in Jimmy's the towel big, big time. <laughs> big time. <clears throat> I can understand the frustration and the pressure that goes on. Um, having done this a couple of times myself, it certainly, certainly messes with you. It does. It does indeed. We have to make sure that truck is out of the way for the next match. One more on the server and then we'll be resetting things. So Just waiting rid out of those. to uh, finalise things here for us. Yeah, so while Hamish does that, you can actually see our fourth point just over here. The final round on this server. This is going to be Kegarino versus Methy Boy versus Bob guys should be in already and waiting and they are so um you know interestingly their trucks are the other side of this railway crossing and we have got barriers here so timing wise they're gonna have to plan this and make sure they don't bump hmm. into each other i don't know if the train yeah. runs on this uh i'm not sure either actually um, Carl, thanks for stopping and mate. Appreciate having you here. Um, you just asked about whether they choose their own machine. So yes, they do. They pick their own equipment and uh, can use what they want. So it's interesting. We've had some interesting methods and techniques used and employed. So, um, but yeah, thank you for a great map and thank you, uh, thank you for the time you spent putting it together. Yeah, much appreciated. Loving it. Really mm. nice map. Mm. Right, schools are up there. If you're do you want to? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, um, I think we could probably predict this one based on what we could see going on. Uh, Coelho crossing the line a minute and nine in deficit with twenty nine with twenty five thousand uh, logs on. So, um, quite a big penalty applied, uh, but still brings him out uh, in first position. Uh, Faban crossing the line uh, a minute and thirty nine over time. Um, so again, only thirteen thousand. Uh, 318 litres of logs on there and a massive 9,925 uh, log um, penalty he took there so he makes second position and Jimmy Sim never made it within the time limit so is a DNF for that round um, frustrating for him I'm sure but uh, good yeah. round good, well played by the guys and very tight circumstances actually that was a it tough, was. That was was. A tough uh, positioned uh, route that one for those guys it was a bit challenging there particularly having three players running around in it um, but I think that that was really highlighted the benefits of that high lift we've talked about it a lot yes. but um, Coelho loaded you know picked up two lots of logs and was off and sold twice as much as anyone else so yes indeed now this is going to be interesting Args because there's only trees in front of them so they're either either going to have to spread out or we're going to have a similar issue here where they're all fighting over a very short small amount Correct. of space yeah exactly so we're on the starters orders and we're off and going Kigarino, Methy Boy and DJ Bob um, not much difference in their equipment to be honest all the same tree processes just gone for different wheel configurations very similar on their loaders yep. to the high lifts and one of the grapples and oh look at that synchronised drive out of them <laughs> yeah the Kig's oh. actually going all the way over the train tracks interesting so he doesn't really need to move his space. truck maybe 
Hmm. Certainly not as far. That's uh, some forward thinking, isn't it? Yeah. Matthew Boy still struggling to get his first tree cut here. DJ Bob blocking the road here, which is an interesting tactic again. And not really an issue here because they can go around into the field, but... Uh, yeah, I was just going to say if you can destroy a bit more, uh, what is it, canola this time? Yeah. <laughs> Soybeans. I don't think anybody does it intentionally. I think it's just trying to plan how they can get things loaded relatively easily. I don't think That's he's right. intentionally blocking the other teams in there at all. No. no. But nice neat pile started there. Methy Boy's still not cut a tree yet. Um, he's struggling with his cutter there to get things sorted. Ah, he had the he had the head stuck on the uh, tree there, but that is not the great start that he would have been looking for. That will be very frustrating mm. if he can uh, put that out of his mind. Do you know what I know? Sort of one of the takeaways I have from the last match is I think they all cut down too many trees. Yeah. They didn't put enough allowance, didn't make enough allowance for time to load. And I think if they started loading just a fraction, even a minute earlier, I think it was yep. about the three minute thirty mark that they both started or all started loading. I think I think in these solos I'd be cutting for five minutes, allow myself three three and a half minutes to load, and a minute and a half to travel. No, I think that's fair, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, was, uh, see how they follow. follow underestimated. Hmm. Even five minutes of cutting is, is a lot of logs. So it is. What Kigarino's already managed to get cut down here. He does have some very neat piles, and I think he is one of the high lift operators. So if he can uh, keep these stacks nice and clean and pick most of them up in one go. Oh, work out what's happening with Meth. He's only managed one tree so far, and every time he's got a second tree now, I think he's just struggling a little bit there. I don't know why. There's a little bit of a visual glitch here. As well. I think I think we've talked about it before, and you know the different tree processes can cut different diameter logs, and some of the trees, if you try and grab them too low, the log diameter does get just a touch too big. Yep. Um, but I do believe as well, just looking at the trees, these might be pixel farms uh, trees as well, which are slightly different looking tree to most game ones. Yeah, and this and is... Defensively on a number of forestry maps, I'm not covering one of them. There's a problem, Methy doesn't seem to be able to cut these grey trees, which is interesting. do not seem to get the, the cutter head around them. Hmm. Almost looks like it's it is when... too... Um, it, they are too big for it. But maybe he's yeah. selected the wrong uh, the wrong tool, and I think it is that actually, are because he's definitely going for these lighter lighter brown trees because they are working. It's interesting because the others don't seem to be having the same don't know issues. Can, yeah, it's a single cutter head, isn't it? You can't. There aren't different size cutter heads, but he's definitely having issues being able to grab the bigger trees. Yeah. Unusual. Right, DJ Bob, has, uh, he's gone to his truck and his loader. He's going to start getting some logs loaded up. I think he's sort of taken on some of that advice and learnt from the previous matches, and he's going to try and get everything loaded up and then see if he's got time to cut some more. Yep, I think we might just about be seeing Keg do the same. It looks like he's he going for one more tree, or is he going to... I think he is going for one more tree before he uh, brings his truck over. So DJ Bob is rocking the uh, Volvo wheel loader with the grapple. Let's see how he goes picking up his first lot of logs. He's got a lot there in front of him. How many of those can he pinch in there? Not bad. Uh, lost a couple there at the end, but it's not a bad load to start off with. Particularly considering we're not even halfway through. We're just coming up on the five minute mark and he's already going to have some logs in there. That's going to make things a little bit hard though. One did drop out the bottom and he's now going to have to negotiate that. Navigate his route way around that, but... Uh, not too bad. Fell off on an angle. So interestingly, Methy Boy's going to have some fun as well, grabbing these out of the uh, out of the trees. Where the guys have pulled their logs out into the open, Methy's are all lying where he cut them. So that could cause him yeah. a little bit of challenge. Yeah, and DJ Bob. Uh, he lost one log as it fell on the ground, and it's actually got stuck across his front wheel. Going to be able to get that off. He does. There we go. Keg here There's going for of, another tree arcs. 
So he's feeling okay. confident that he can get things into that high lift very quickly. Yeah, well, we're down to four and a half minutes to go. Um, I think there needs to be a bit of decorum when you come to trying to pick up too many logs. I think too many can actually be a bad thing. Especially if you don't get them in the grapple where they're in the centre as we're just watching DJ Bob having them very offset. He does have them picked up, but can he get that over the back of the truck and in? That's it? right, Arx, yeah. Like, they splay at the bottom there, don't they? They open up like a yeah, like a flower, and then the problem there is that you, know, you get caught on the spikes on the trailer and things like that, and they... Yeah, he's yeah, mm. really struggling to get those over the top of the trailer. Oh, he's it's done a lovely what, job there. Well. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. He, 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 down, he managed to <laughs> manipulate them in well. I think he's just very much put himself in the driving seat here for winning this round, mm. with Keg not even picking any logs up yet. No, um, and Mithy Boy's actually done well to get his first lot out of there using the high lift. But he's got some very short logs. Kigarino's having a few technical issues there, yeah. opening up the uh, opening up the grab, but he's good now. Hmm, three and a half minutes to go. DJ Bob's leaving. DJ Bob's off. <laughs> he's like, I've got load. I've loaded. I'm off. I think that that second load really. Well, he's actually got rid of all the logs he cut down as well. So, oh no, he's got it a does. few stragglers here. But yeah, in, in general, he's got rid of everything. It does. So this is going to be interesting because remember, if you finish within the ten minute time, there's no reward for turning up two minutes early. Um, no, there's not. So Keg can finish. If Keg can finish right on ten minutes with more logs, he could still win this. And he has just picked up a monumental load. His entire oh, wow, load in <laughs> has picked up in one go. So if he can load up a couple of these in the next minute. Just got to watch his time. Now, I know the way... Keg impressive. is pretty scientific with the way he approaches stuff, so I'm pretty sure he will be thinking about time the whole the whole way through this. So we've got 2 minutes, 16 seconds left. He's left this pretty tight, actually, Argus, hasn't he? He has, but that's an impressive load. And the way he was stacking his logs, he was kind of breaking them up into different piles to be able to do that grapple yeah. like that. Um, oh, I didn't notice. Methy boy as well, Ox. Methy boy, that he's, high lift coming into its well. own there. Yeah, yeah, he's being able to pull out it's a lot, a good amount of logs. Um, you might have noticed the collectible pop up in there. There was a horse in the middle of the road, which I saw DJ Bob drive over, and it sort of bucked his truck up. So we've, we've collected that collectible into ourselves a thousand bucks, and that's now not going to cause a problem for anyone else. Nice. Right, Methy with collisions. One last log from Methy going in here. And he's gone right over the truck and over to the other side, but he's going to get out of here anyway. Now, is that that log's going with him, whether he liked it or not? Okay, Matthew's out of here as well, Arx. I'll leave you with uh, right. Keg. Yeah, I'll keep here and watch Keg. He's just struggling to get this pile of logs picked up. If he can get this, he's he's running out of time, but he needs to get this done in the next 10 seconds and on the back of the truck. All right, there we go. He's managed to grab it. Now, how quickly can he go and put it in the back of the truck and... How much value is there in that load? It's a pretty impressive pile. So, Methy left with uh, a minute 13 on the clock, Args. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see. He's a even able to get to the sell point in time, and that will tell us if Keg has got time. But I don't think he's mm. going to. No, well, we're down to 40 seconds, and Keg's is just getting his logs unloaded. Now... Unfortunately, oh, he's managed to keep all but one in the truck. That's fine. I was going to say the l amount he grabbed almost seemed too high, and he's he's going for more. Keeks is going for more. He's like to heck with the timer. I'm going to try and get as much money as I can. Interesting, um, I because if he's got massively more than the other guys, and although the penalties are high, he could still sneak this. But he's yeah, going to have to leave pretty soon. Methy's yeah. crossing the line with a second to spare. I think he just went under by perfectly. one second. Yeah. All right. Well, Keggs, is, he's only got about four more logs, um, which I really don't think would be worth the extra value, but he's got them on there nice and quick. Just seeing so, he's out of his loader, he'll be running to his truck. A minute and 15 you know, seconds he needs, Args. A minute and 15 seconds. So he's he is close to running out of time. In fact, I think he he's might got have... one log. 
He's got one log hanging really low off the back, which I knew it. It's clipped the train crossing, oh, and no. he's on his side. Oh, Kia no. Carino. Those no, four no, logs no. he went for, the extra logs on the back has actually caused him more heartache than, uh, than bonus. Wasn't worth it. Going to try and write things, but he's he's going to run a fine line isn't it? This. it is, it is. It's that gamble and risk. And uh, we see some of the players think it's worth it. And dare I say, more times than not, it has not been worth the hassle. Nope, nope. You don't like I to say you're on the side of caution, but um, yeah. No, we want to see them pushing the limits, but I don't think we've seen a match be won by someone taking those extra two or three logs at the end. No. No, I think you're right. The uh, the, the numbers right. don't... Uh, Here we go. Truck's back on its wheels. But he has but left himself... he does himself. only have 40 seconds. It's not enough. It was a minute and, a minute he, and 15 from here. He could potentially sneak through the back. The cell point, but... Um, I, I can see the wheel tracks that Methy Boy used in the first match going into the back of the cell point. Would be the only way he will make it. No, it's getting caught on Bob's. out on DJ Bob's logs. But no, with 10 seconds left, it is... Game over for Keggs, It's game over for Keggs, which is a shame, because actually I would have liked to see the size of that load compared to the other mm. stuff. If he if he hadn't rolled it, whether or not that time oh. difference would have uh, brought him into the mix. That's right. Clip and he's got caught out on there. the road as well. Mailbox is at the side of the road. That, that log at yeah. the back is really causing him some grief. Is that right? And of course, I was going to the wrong cell point as well. I was thinking they were going to the close one. Yes, yes, they're in the far away one. My so. apologies. I'm further away. Mm. So, yeah, definitely was a time issue. And there we go. He's over the two minutes. Um, so, we will be waiting for the results. Ah, uh, so... Uh, Hamish just confirming that the Komatsu that Methy Boy was using does have a smaller header on. It's that it was the base game one, not the pre uh, the premium expansion one. Right. So he was at a slight disadvantage there, but with Keg and Keg's DNF, um, he's actually earned himself a placing here. So uh, scores are up, Args, if you want to do the honours. Yeah, sure, can do. So we had uh, Bob crossing the line with a minute twenty four to spare, managed to sell eighteen thousand dollars. Of logs, 18,261, and of course, no penalty there. Methy Boy coming across with, uh, was it one second over the time? Just one there? second just, over in the end. Just yes. one second over, so he's incurred a $139 penalty, which hasn't had any bearings on the uh, on the result. He sold $14,465 worth of logs uh, to get second place, and of course, unfortunately, Kikarino, they're not getting across the finish line in the time frame. Uh, with those issues with the track. Now, wouldn't so that have been place, interesting, well, Args, if Methy had just loaded, had an extra couple of logs on, that would have been a close round. It um, would have been, yeah, absolutely. So um, he did well to, to salvage second out of that, considering the issues he had. Uh, Kikarino's carried on, and I think he just wants to know for a peace of mind where he might have stood in this one. What his numbers are, so that he can plan for the next are. round. I know he'll come back That's right. bigger and stronger. Oh, so... I've just right. jumped farms to see if I can see what the profit was. No, I missed it. Missed it popping yeah. up. We are going to very quickly jump servers now, aren't we, Arg? So uh, we can still chat to you yeah, while we, we do that. Yeah. Um, put, your, put your pretty face up on the screen in a bigger version. <laughs> Not to scare the people off, Arg. Farm some guy, everyone. <laughs> One and only. So. Thrustmaster Ambassador. G Portal Partner. Gold farm some Farming Simulator. <laughs> Oh, stop. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> <laughs> Making me blush. Um, uh, what do you think after those four rounds then? That was um, that was quite good fun. I'm, I'm loving being on a new map, to be honest. That's, yep. that's sort of been the best part is the new challenges of the map. Um, and the just, yeah, just watching how the players all react to it. Yeah, no, it's been good, hasn't it? Um, mm. Really enjoyable. Uh, Paul Wright, welcome to the stream. Good morning from Australia. Good to have oh, you here, Paul, buddy. How you doing? So, uh, coming up now, we have got uh, another team round, one team round, and then two more uh, solo rounds. So, we're going to go hmm. back to the first round that we'd played um, right at the start. We're going to go and reuse that, uh, that uh, point again. 
Um, so, mm-hmm. so it's Pinnacle Log Loggers coming up against a Logmeisters. So Kigarino gaming with James and uh, Not Sharp Farmer. I'm assuming Methy Boy is going to sub in for them again, coming up against Tobias, Schiffelmeister, and Faban. So it'll be interesting, actually. No, they, they were full team. It was something missing from Modern Logging we had. And um, uh, Keg, an opportunity to redeem himself straight yes. away. Yes, I'm sure he will be looking forward to that opportunity. And then we've got uh, a couple of solo matches to finish yeah. things off, which is Faban versus Modern Logging versus Farming Alex, and then Coelho versus Methy Boy versus Farming Alex. So. Right. So. Let us see how that all goes. We are in. Mark Haythorn Thwaite is calling ready already. <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm not ready, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, one more thing to do, which is to log in as admin. So, modern logging here, just. Um, oh, hang on a minute. That is wrong. I'm in the wrong place. That is a. All right, there we go. I'm going to try and find where I'm supposed to be now. <laughs> Definitely a solo round sitting there then. So over here. Where are we? Where, where are is we? everybody? <laughs> They're under starter's orders and the commentators aren't there. No, that's not uh, it but, either. No, down, down by the trees. Barring. <laughs> where we had the first of the solo matches. Right. Of course I can't oh teleport. Goodness. Isn't it great when the broadcasters aren't there in time yeah. for the uh, event? What a we bunch can of confirm a match has been, match has been played and clowns. there were two teams involved. All right. Have, we, have, I, have I managed to find us the right spot? All right. No, that's a solo one. No, it isn't. I'm in the right spot. This is Kigarino, Jimmy, Faban, and Tobias. So here, we have found them FSG. I am here. Ready to go. There we go. Oh, now hang on see. a minute. I, I, I definitely don't know where I am. Um, where is everybody? Oh, okay, in the Down trees. Below. Right. Oh, that's what I'm logging. Okay, I can teleport now because I'm on a farm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what found a shambles. Us. Right. Oh. <laughs> Can I introduce you it. again as uh, Thrustmaster Ambassador, Let's Deep get on with Partner, it. <laughs> Gold Giants Partner, and Lost. Yes. MRV Dog, thank you for the reminder for me to switch back to the gameplay screen as well. I appreciate that. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Lost in the woods. Right, indeed. You can make a movie about that. Yeah. Remember how we started off in No Man's Land? That's right, yeah. That series there. Calling out to each other in the dark. <laughs> All right. We've come a long way since then, teams, We have teams are battling Kikarino and Jimmy Sim for the Pinnacle Log is up against Tobias and Faban. Right, Keg straight in and <laughs> cutting straight away. Faban and Tobias. Beggars can't be choosers, Scooter. <laughs> Scooter. Scooter's saying I need to get better help. Yeah, I know. I'm going to open it up. If we have guest guest uh, commentators yeah. for future guest commentators. We did we did actually talk about that last season, didn't we? And we did out to bring anyone in to help us, but we did. We uh, I know somebody who's very keen. A certain uh, certain community coordinator from the US would yes. love to jump in and give his hand at some point. Indeed. Right, I can see the trucks barreling down the road here. Uh, Tobias has certainly taken a bit of space there, but that should leave. Enough of a spot for Methy Boy to squeeze past. He looks like he must be the second of the two trucks. Yes, he is. Yep. Shuffle Master just coming into view. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got Math- Matthias actually helping out. At least that is Methy Boy. Probably is. Schiff is doing the right thing and turning around here, Args. Tobias already waiting with logs, but Schiffelbeist has decided to make sure they're pointing in the right direction. That's a uh, lesson learned from last round. I think so, yes. Yeah. So Matthias is trying to do the same as well. Not as much space to do it in this map, this uh, part of the world. 
And look at the pile of logs Jimmy's already got waiting to drop onto the truck, because that's a pretty hmm. decent load straight off the bat. And this is the difference we're seeing with uh, the solos versus teams, is you know you can just start loading straight away. Yeah. Now Matthias is can get stuck. Himself turned around. Yeah, Kikarino's sort of boxed him in a little bit with those logs behind, but let's see it. Jimmy hopefully get those logs into the back of the truck and then they can turn around and face pull the right forward, direction. Yeah. There's enough space here to pull forward and turn okay. around that way, isn't there? But it's a tidy, tidy first upload there from Nicely loaded Jimmy. there. Don't go backwards, Matthias. Oh, well. <laughs> there he goes. And over here, the boys are getting on quite nicely. Just a couple of logs at a time. That grab doesn't allow you to... Uh, do many more than that, but Tobias, of all people, is pretty deft with handling that machine, so uh, no mm. issues here. Mm. I think Matthias is just waiting for these logs to be moved by Jimmy to be able to back around and get into a better spot, but plenty of time for them. We're only uh, 2 minutes and 50 seconds into the match. Definitely worth doing while you can is getting turned around and facing the right direction. Yep. One less task to do when the time pressure really starts to bite. Uh, things are a bit tight here. Tobias is right up against the truck, and uh, it's causing him a few, just a few issues in terms of getting loaded, but he's just manoeuvred himself into a better position, which I think has helped him. Yes, uh, I'm seeing the same down this end, actually, with Kikarino, Jimmy, Son, and Matthias. are all in very, very close proximity to each other. Uh, Matthias has, she hasn't chosen to turn around. He's left the truck well presented to where Jimmy's loading from. So I think he's decided let's keep it easy for the uh, loading to do their job. And while they can, yeah. Turn around. Yeah. Jimmy's taking his time to load that, but he's getting that nice and neat, isn't he? That pile. He is. He is, yeah. He's pretty handy with this uh, with this front loader. Once again, I think we're seeing a different length of log being cut too, are we? Just I agree, yeah. Look across in the background. Hmm. Much longer from the guys over there. So I'm just going to scoot over here and have a look at Schiffermeister's handiwork as he's loading. The barn's sort of working their way along the front, not going deep into the forest. They're sort of just going along the road front, yep. and cutting trees as they go. You, you could save yourself 10 seconds by slowly doing this and working your way along, couldn't you? 10 seconds closer to the cell point. Yeah, every, every time, yeah. Yeah. Matthias is I'm now sure turning the truck hogs while Jimmy's picking up okay. the next load, so uh, yeah, that was definitely right. their intention. Well, we're yeah, we're coming up on halfway, just on five minutes gone, five minutes to go. Um, I think we're going to have another situation here, and we've seen it already with the teams, where they fill the truck up before the time is up. Yeah. Um, Tobias is running out of space very quickly. They could always shorten, cut some shorter logs and stack them in that back of the truck, but it may not be worth it. That's right. Well, well impressively, though, no, the Tobias, Tobias and Faban are sort of in sync as they go along the roads. Schiffelmeister's just driving along. It's a, a very well-organised uh, system they have going at the moment. Yeah. Another impressive uh, load going in from Jimmy here. He's really doing well, and obviously he had a bit of a nightmare in the solos, so to come back and not really be phased and be loading this truck as well as he is is very impressive. Mm. And Matthias is still not turned round. He's kind of half turned round. Oh, he is now. Yeah, he's just been cool. casually picking... Uh, Picking the time to unload uh, to to turn around so uh, he's not impacting Jimmy in the loading. All right, that's clever. All right, we're starting to see Tobias running out of space on the top of the truck. Logs are not sitting in the bunk quite as comfortably as they were before, but I think he's still got space for a few to go. Coming up on well, just under four minutes remaining, plenty of time. I don't think we're going to see either of these teams run out of time. No. It oh, will oh. just come down to like go. I can see it happening. Oh, Jimmy's just he just clipped the top of the bars and it's caused all manner of problems he scraped those two logs out of the way though which is very clever so we should be able to resolve that hopefully 
He's not going to wait though, he's going to go for another big pile rather than trying to pick up individual logs, which is clever. Yeah. I think we're seeing it. Tobias is just having a few difficulties. He's trying to be really cautious with these next logs because he's sitting right up on top of the truck. So if he gets those in there. This is the challenge with both. um longer logs, isn't it? You don't have that luxury of being able to uh put two stacks on. That's right. But yeah, I'm not I'm still not warning. sure if the um which is the best route. So yeah, interesting. And just just quietly FSG, were these guys listening to the broadcast? Because my comment before about cutting some short logs and putting them on the back is exactly you know? what yeah. the barn has done. Hey, fair play <laughs> to them. There's no rule yeah, to say you can't watch up. the stream. No. Now if oh, you I'd can just manoeuvre those under, tuck them underneath there. He's going to have to turn the straps off. Turn the straps off. Why are we coaching them? <laughs> I don't know. Can they strap them on and hold it in there or will it grab the grapple? Should be alright. Okay. He has unstrapped them. Yeah, so he should be able to drop them and get out of the way. Oh, look at that. Oh. Back the truck up. Magic. Look at that. I think we've just seen a winning right. move there, Ox. That's, uh, that's impressive. What that's is good. also equally impressive, I reckon we could be beating, beating Modern Logging's $40,000 haul on the first match today. Power Team two. Esports, but yes. Ah, Power Team Esports, sorry. Yes. But I tell you what, I've just come back over here, Ogs. There is a mighty load up here as well. Mm, I was following you down and that is impressive. And Jimmy's about to put another happening. full stack on here. So, uh, they need to watch their time though. A minute and a half left and I reckon it is best part of a minute and a half to get there yep. and over Shuffle the finish Master's line. leaving. Shuffle Master's out. Right, this is going to go down to who's got the most logs, and it is going to be close. It is going to be Disco close. dancing on the back of the track here. Yeah, same with Matthias here, but they are maybe 10 seconds behind them, if that. And that might be just be that position on the road, just having a little advantage being closer to the cell point. That's now right. we are going to the first cell point. One minute warning popping up. I'm pretty confident both teams are going to make it, barring any catastrophes with the truck driving. So this will go down to who's got the most on the truck and that is it absolutely absolutely shuffle is just approaching the turn in he's slowing down he's gone for the corner cut oh, he has gone for the corner cut and he's squeezing past a tree he has managed to power his way through there but that was a high risk maneuver considering they were well within the time limits yeah now matthias going for the those. standard turn here he's not worried about Rocks time particularly damage. He no, has. Shuffle Master heading through the bales with 24 seconds left. Matthias has the clipped clock. the fence, so he's just going to have to be careful here. And again, he's caught the fence slightly. Uh, Hopefully, this time. doesn't pull him back and give him a penalty, but I don't think well, this is going to be close. He cannot afford to make a single mistake here. Four, three, three two, two, one. one. Oh, that fence hit oh. has slowed them down by. Three seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds on the timer. That was pretty well managed by both teams, barring those mistakes. And uh, I just want to have a look at these loads of logs before they sell them, because that is... That's pretty impressive. That was a, an astoundingly neat, tidy load, that, isn't it? It is. It is. Uh, Strody saying, physics engine's not liking this. Ha -ha. I don't actually think it's the physics on this one, Strody. I just think it's lag on the server that uh, it it can't keep up with the position of the logs. So let's so see those two logs to loads. Loads Let's see logs what we've got system. here. Very impressive. I mean, that's professional, that isn't it? it less is. so, it less is. so with the little ones at the back, but certainly the, that first stack is really impressive. Oh, just the but at least the uh, the game sense to be able to go. We've got time. Let's cut some shorter lo logs because yeah. whether it was an on the fly decision or one that they'd pre prepared. Tobias in my so, chat saying the first part of our load was good, but I'm disappointed in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Ever the perfectionist. Yeah. Very impressive. So we'll just move that truck out of the way. And, and again, credit where credit's due. Um, to the guys uh, from uh, Pinnacle as well. Really, really nice stack of logs here. 
Oh, uh, I tell you what, and for for Kigarino to come back from sort of the disappointment, I would say, of that yeah. last solo match and going straight into this, I think you know, they've uh, they've done themselves proud. And they have. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. The three the three second penalty is only worth about three hundred dollars. Yep. So, I, I'm. What, what's your pick? What's your pick before we see the scores? If he's I'm going to say, even with the penalty, no, no, I can't. I think Logmeisters have done it. You think? I'm going the other way. I'm calling it. Pinnacle you think even with the penalty, by... they've uh, the shorter logs are worth more value-wise, aren't they? So, there's going to be fifteen hundred dollars between it. Okay. At the end. And they're both going to be over forty grand. We're going to see. We're going to be close to fifty thousand dollar loads, I reckon. Okay. Oh, big big calls for Mark's here. Big calls. <laughs> big calls. So Jimmy Sim oh, and oh, Keg, who have jobs. both had two DNFs tonight, are about to potentially deliver the biggest comeback since Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> Bold claims, yeah. Bold claims. We are waiting with bated breath. I'm waiting for the Very much so. of uh, Hamish you know typing. Is, oh, Hamish is typing. This this is one of those ones that I think could be one of our closest matches. Um, we've had some close finishes on Silver Run Forest when it was all about selling it and it was just a who was first there kind of issue. Yeah. But this is kind of the closest one we've had, I think, in the, the season two go. era of Logan League. Here we go. Oh... Intriguing. All right, you can call it. All right, so Pinnacle Loggers crossing with three seconds to spare. Um, three second penalty. Sorry, three second penalty, beg your pardon. Um, 37,263 litres of logs uh, with the penalty of 304 uh, litres of logs taken off that. They finished with 36,958 litres. I'm not going to read out who the the order here, but Logmeisters uh, finished 24 seconds within the time scale, but had 35,763 liters. So sneaking it by just 1,200 liters. Are uh, in fact no. Pinnacle, yeah, Pinnacle logging. 2,000 liters. Um. Pinnacle Loggers have won it with the penalty. So mm. you called mm. it, Ox. You called it. Yeah, it's it is it's not as much as I thought. I, they still haven't beaten uh Power Team Esports log haul, but yeah, there's twelve hundred. Wow. There is only twelve hundred. Thirty five seven versus thirty six nine. Yeah. So it is a twelve hundred dollar difference. Twelve hundred dollars. There you go. Yeah. What a match. That was a great match. Yeah. A great match. And I have to say, the Logmeisters <laughs> must be really frustrated for such an optimal such an optimal load to not win that one will be will be frustrating there should be a bonus yeah. point for loading Tobias is saying in the chat <laughs> <laughs> well the, the one the one thing to smile about Tobias is you finish within the time so you do get the bonus point whereas the uh, pinnacle loggers missed out on that bonus point by three seconds so keep that in mind when it comes to final scores that 10 points could be the difference yes indeed yes indeed mm. right we're heading straight over to stage one now for our Indeed, next so. heat. Solo heat yes. between Faban, Modern Logging, and Farming Alex. That's right. So we've got two more matches to go, and they are both solos. Uh, as FSG said, this one against Faban, Modern Logging, and Farming Alex. And then we've got Coelho, Methy Boy, and Farming Alex to round out the day. And uh, can I just say, this has been running pretty much like clockwork. It has. It has indeed. Uh, really enjoying this. Really enjoying this. The guys are ready. Yeah. We are all ready to go, which is awesome as well. Um, now we've seen this stage used as a team match. Uh, one team went one way, the other went the other. But we're throwing in a third operator into this. So it'll be an interesting watch. And we'll be keeping a close eye on the timing of things, as we've seen with the solos. I think that's becoming quite a critical consideration. Arx has jinxed it now. Internet's about to fail worldwide. That's <laughs> stro <stro> <laughs> Yep. All right, we're underway. Mark has said go, and for barn model logging and farming, Alex are racing into their tree harvesters. And off. Modern logging just 
nudging Farming Alex a little bit over to uh, his left there. I First think Modern Logging was wanting there. to get on the outside and uh, give himself a little bit more space. He might not have been too happy about being squeezed in between Alex and Faban, but yeah. he's going to have to make do with that and start getting some trees cut. A little bit more space to navigate around this one too. I don't think there is any obstructions or blockages with trucks and logging equipment being in the way. But That's right. Steady start from all three players. Yeah, yeah, all got one tree down. Moving on to the second one now. Uh, good to see Yoss repping the AG hat at Pax Arcs. Um Oh, I haven't seen it. You'd bovines. I must be. There must be a DJ Goham vid out or something. Uh, right, I know DJ and Clutch were live for a bit yesterday, but yeah, I'll have to uh, take a look at that. Everybody running well, almost the same here. Faban maybe just a little behind, but uh, there's nothing there. in it. Very much a calm before the storm here in these solos because there's so, <laughs> you know. It's a task following a task following a task. There's not that cold, cold, multiple tasks going on at the same time. So, right. Identical loading gear as well, Ogs. Identical trucks, or identical trailers yeah. at least. And identical mm. uh, loading gear. So this will this will be a battle of uh, battle of wits between the guys. No advantage yeah, we'll on equipment at all. No, no. So it's going to come down to operator skill rather than the benefit of being able to pick up more logs because of a grab or grapple or anything like that. Mark Haythorn's what he says, I'm going to have to stop paying people to wear my hat. I am, aren't I? I'm going to have to start <laughs> sponsoring people. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have taken so long getting them done. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, modern logging started with a very big pile and now it's gone a little bit... Uh, Sparkly. Yeah, I mean it's the same old adage, isn't it? The the grapple allows you to be a little bit more um, just reckless with the way you stack your logs. That's right, because you're just so plucking you one or two off the top every time. Yeah. 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 Still, it's still the neat pile would make it easier, I imagine. Yeah. Um, I'm just watching. I mean, we've, we're three minutes in, just coming up on three minutes in, and Alex is actually going to go and jump into a truck by the looks of things. And so uh, interestingly, modern logging. Loaded. Mon Long and Alex have gone for long logs, and um, Baban over here has gone for the slightly shorter ones again. So, the jury's mm. still out on what the best route is, isn't it? Mm, absolutely. Farming Alex is uh, positioning his truck facing out, so he actually took the time to drive forward and reverse up rather than just getting in beside. It'll be interesting to see how he gets to where he needs to load, because he's actually going to have to go behind the other two trucks. He's just is he making that realization, or is he going to be a bit? He's doing the he was doing the good moral thing here, Args, and moving that one log that was blocking the, mm. the trucks. Being a good citizen. Of the let's, see, let's see where he goes with that. If he was a really good citizen, uh, no, actually, if he's very cunning. He could drop that log in behind the cabs on those two trucks and knock them both in the <laughs> Can it just climb up and over his logs? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's any quicker than driving around the back because uh, oh, I'm it's not sure. taking him a while, isn't it? It has. He's kind of just going to plonk himself in there in the middle and start loading from there. Modern logging's having to. Last his way out is here. Pink Beauty. I have had a freeze on my game. I'm not sure what yours is like, Ox, but. No, I'm all good. Everybody has stopped at the moment. Uh, we've got uh, smooth, we but for Barnes. Oh, oh for Barnes was trying to sneak behind modern logging. Modern logging was backing up. And it's just caused him to have to reset just a little bit. There was a honk of the horn there. I don't know whether that was a friendly watch out on coming or uh, don't you do that kind of honk. But Or a get out of the way. Get out of the honk, yeah. All right. So just coming up on five minutes, halfway through, and uh, no one's really got an advantage yet. Alex was the first to start loading, but he hasn't actually managed to get anything onto the back of the truck yet. He's sort of struggling with these log long logs. Let's see who is going to manage to drop the first one in the back of the truck. It is going to be Alex by the looks of things, for Barn not far behind. Modern logging is going to go and place himself in a perfect position in between. 
keep things spinning. So uh, this one's on a knife edge at the moment, if he's true. It's close, isn't it? It's close. Yeah. Um, Alex, just a couple of logs on, modern logging, getting his first log on for Ban. A couple more in his grapple there. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. Hmm, I did just see Alex manage to flip his trailer, or flick his trailer away a little bit because of uh, a log being stuck underneath it. Whether that's going to hinder his reach with that grapple or not, I'm not sure. And actually now looking at this, Alex, um, Alex doesn't have that many logs. When you compare it to what the other guys have got, he doesn't seem to have that big a pile of logs. Modern logging, I no. think, by far the most. Um... But with just four minutes left, I don't think he's going to get all of these on the truck and get down to the cell point. We've got a ghost on the server. Modern logging's tree harvest is twisting around on its own. So it is. <laughs> what is going on there? So, oh, that's a good pickup load there from Alex. Nicely balanced. And Bob's saying uh, the grapples are harder with the twelve foot, uh, twelve with the twelve meter trees. I'm inclined to agree, unless you pick them up yeah. dead centre. It does throw up a few issues, doesn't it? Yeah, you get a couple when sort of one's off centre and the other's not, and it's unbalanced and unweight, incorrectly weighted. So we're coming up on three minutes to go. We know it's about a minute and a half to drive from here to the cell points. Uh, Farming Alex has the advantage facing directly out. Modern logging sort of twisted around quite well. Uh, for Barnes, actually got probably the most work to do with his truck. So. I also think Alex has Once probably again. got the advantage in the number of logs he has on his trailer, but it is close between modern logging and Alex. Alex must be getting short on logs to load, is he? I sort of can't see from where I am. Um, he's, he got, me. he's got enough. If he can get all of these on, um, he actually has judged it pretty well, to be honest. Hmm. That's it's the whole thing about cutting in the right time, isn't it? Yeah. Stopping you cutting to... and like starting your loading. He's just dropped them, though, so he is on a sticky wicket here with 2.25 to go. I reckon they've got a, a minimum or a maximum of a minute of loading left before they need to mm. get out. Now, Agreed. Modern, I think, may have just taken the lead. With Alex dropping that last load, I think Modern Log has just got more logs. Just another on his trailer now. So Barnes, Barnes jumped in his truck, he's strapped down. I think he's going to put pressure on these guys to make a decision and he's going with two minutes to spare. Yeah, he's taking taking the opportunity. Now Alex is going to go with a, the most bizarre load which may <laughs> cause him issues, Args. I think that's going to cause him issues. It will be interesting. Modern logging, we're down to a minute 50. He's going to try and get a couple more logs on. I think he's probably looked at the other loads and gone, I've got time. Two more logs will win it for me. Yeah, Alex is. And he's Alex some of those round records on. I'm not sure Alex is going to get down the the narrow pathway with this log sticking out the side of his truck here, Ox. Now we'll have to make. We haven't had this situation arise. Modern logging's just hopping out and about to start going as well. And uh, not only is his excavator, is his tree processor spinning around, but so is his excavator. Ox <laughs> for Ban has wet. just barreled straight past farming Alex in a different truck, a faster truck, and has completely taken the lead. But he's hit a tree! Oh. He has hit a tree. Alex <laughs> Alex has got stuck as well. They are both stuck on trees here, Args. Um, I'm not sure. All Faban right. looked like he hit the tree a lot harder and is a little bit more wedged. So Alex has taken the lead again here. And Faban Crazy. still stuck on the truck. Alex is going to cross the finish line just here with... 45 seconds left on the clock. Modern logging's following the other's wheels patterns through the uh, through the fields. Okay, and Faban has also taken that corner cut. Faban coming in with 31 seconds left on the clock. If so modern logging can logging, get in with the time, and he is going to easily, easily going to cross this one. He's won this. He's won this hands down. I think those extra way logs, more logs. I, I, yeah. That extra time he took there at the end is going to pay dividends for him. I tell you what, though, Ogs, that pink truck, which is... What is that? It's a Volvo. Why was that going so much faster than... Uh... It's the twin axle versus the triple yeah. axle. I don't know if that makes it was, difference. Maybe he just built a bit more momentum up. He hadn't slowed down Possibly. or... 
but uh, he was moving if he hadn't clipped the tree yeah. he had already passed Alex and was away could be could be the loads I mean sometimes if you've got a log hanging out the edge it can cause some True. aerodynamic yeah. drag <laughs> I don't think the game engine's that advanced but um, aerodynamic can, drag <laughs> it, it can be dragging on the ground and that can definitely slow you down Strody says we need to do a Stuart's inquiry to check for NOS afterwards <laughs> Yeah, we know red goes faster, but is pink a near enough derivative of red? <coughs> Having it might be. Mm, maybe that's that's the deal. All right, so farming Alex is sold and out of the way. Unceremoniously dumping his truck across into the trees for Barn coming through to get his sold. Um, but yeah, another intriguing round. That was a good round. I enjoyed that. Yep. And, uh, really close. Logging, uh, using the sophisticated backing into the cell point method. It's just a, it's one last flex after after loading more logs and taking longer yeah. <laughs> and still crossing before the finish line. He did. He timed his run to perfection. Seventeen. Yeah. Any more? Now remember, they didn't see this map Touch or what to do before thirty minutes until thirty minutes before the stream, so they haven't mm. had the they haven't had the chance to practice. One of the reasons we no. like the idea of switching uh, maps, wasn't it, Args? Yeah, just adds a adds a view. They could practice on the map. They could get used and familiar to the trees. They could figure out the layout of the map, but they didn't know exactly where these cell points were going to be right. or where their where their logging was going to occur. So it's yeah. um, certainly been a little bit dynamic from that point of view. Indeed, indeed. But fantastic round. Enjoyed that. Nice, nice close yeah. one. Really enjoyed that. It is. It is. Hold on, guys. And, uh, motoring through them. Right. So Hamish with. Um, the results just coming up now, and mm, then we'll move on to our final uh, final round. H having a look at the uh, crop circles, modern locking's just kind of ripped up in the field. There's not much cotton left out here right now. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Celebratory donuts. Celebratory donuts. Right, results are in arcs. They are, and uh, well, 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 well. Where do we start? Farming Alex was first across the line, 44 seconds to spare. He had $14,500 worth of logs, no no penalty points or anything like that. Uh, for Barn coming through second on the timing screen, 33 seconds remaining, and he sold $1,300 more than Farming Alex, so 15800 But a clear and decisive victory from Modern Logging, 17 seconds left on the clock just shy of twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of logs so 12 grand or so ahead of Faban. that is a, that is a good Faban. load um, isn't it it is a good load and, and you know fair credit to him he probably didn't actually need to take those couple of extra logs right at the end but he timed his run perfectly no time left out there he couldn't have cut any more logs he couldn't have loaded any more logs and he's come through with a clear victory so uh very close an uh, interesting exciting round and uh just what we want to see Fantastic. Brilliantly done. Yeah. Mm. Excellent round. Well played. Logging. Indeed. Which takes us on to our very final match of round two. It does indeed. And we are over here. And farming Alex. Guello and Methy Boy already in position here. Excellent. Ready to go. And has Methy stuck with that? Uh, he has not. Methy has switched. We may not have those issues we had in the mm. other round. Right, so we'll just wait for everything to get organised here. Yep. Right. All good to go. Right. This is going to be another interesting one. A bit more variance in the equipment this time around. Bumming Alex does have that smaller processor, doesn't he? And I think we might just be seeing that being changed out. Ah, uh, right, cost changing there. A new, different Komatsu loader coming across. Yeah, you're right. This is getting moved. I'm assuming... No, he's still going for the base game on there, Args. Not yeah, the, I'm not, uh, not familiar with the difference. But apparently the header, the, 
the uh, the cutter head is will only take a smaller diameter log. Yeah, I was, which I was, was this issue in the last round. Which is a 65 centimetre max, whereas the 951 is a 70 centimetre max. And there's two of them in the Platinum expansion, and then there's the one right at the start, which is actually the biggest, a 71 centimetre. So the okay. base game one's actually the biggest, but it's uh, just looking at the comparison, it's a four wheel or eight wheel version, whereas the others are three, three or tracked. So a little bit of a difference. I'm always intrigued because I'm pretty sure the Rotney Harvester takes up to 80 centimetres, and I'm surprised it's not used more. That's right, yeah. I mean, it's very, it's very rarely piece. seen, isn't it? Hmm. I think Kigarino made the comment last uh, round with it being a harder arm to operate or something, right. least okay. manipulation or something like that, but definitely the bigger of the three, four processing units. Yeah. Anyhow, start as orders. We are all ready to go, set, and uh, going to get underway with the final match of the round. Yes, indeed. We are right, ready, steady, go. Mark has called it. Coelho is stationary. He hasn't moved. Oh, yeah, I see that. Glitch. No, there he goes. He's off. He's he was daydreaming. Out. He was. He's going to get run over. He oh, he's, oh, he's been crushed under the wheels of one of his competitors. <laughs> We're down to two. Oh, no, he's all right. It's just a flesh wound. Just a now, Matthew's gone out. over here and given himself a, a nice bit of space with a little bit of open space to work with as well. Not a bad call. Mm. That's Not right. Coelho's call. actually, he's going, a, he's going a long way as well. And uh, not ideal with that track machine. No, it is it slow. It does take that, some, it? some time for the Hannibal to get anywhere. But I wonder if he's targeting these different trees down here. Not sure. Possibly Methy first tree down and cut before Coelho's even made it to a tree yet. But... Mm. Oh, interesting. Coelho's getting in his truck. He's positioning all his equipment. Interesting indeed. And the one thing... Oh, oh no, he's having some lag issues because he's just gone straight on. I think the there might be a lag place. issue there because he's just barreled he straight is. on into a tree. Uh, farming Alex's logs that were neatly stacked there have just <laughs> taken a hit for six. I'm sure no malice intended there no. is again. I jinxed it, as Charity said. Yeah, we do have a wide entrance here, so even those across the road, there is plenty of room for the guys to get past without slowing them down. So, uh, Coelho's oh, gone. Yeah, we thought he was having some lag issues there. Right. Let's pause, pause quickly. I'm sure Hamish will be in the chat telling the guys just to put the brakes on for a second whilst we give him the chance to uh, get back in. Of course, I'm sure they they see the same information on screen as we do. So, uh, I'm sure the camaraderie that does happen in, amongst the teams and competitors, they will pause themselves. Yeah, well, they're very good at stopping. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the one thing we haven't seen yet, FSG, which I'm kind of a little bit surprised at, is no one's tried to process a tree straight into the back of the truck. You are right, actually, Arx. Yeah, <clears throat> that's um, a fair point. We, they couldn't. They couldn't really do it in season one because the container would take the full tree and then you're not getting the optimum length cut to go into the container and yep. there'd be a disadvantage there in your price. But there's no reason with no auto load or any function here on these trailers that we couldn't see that happening. In, uh, that is a very good point. In the current, good point within the current rules. So. Right, to Coelho go, back in. All the ideas for the teams. I know, right? Just, yeah. Yeah. Who's listening? We should start a team, Args. We should. No, I've seen your loading. <laughs> oh, I've seen your driving. I was going to say you could be the truck driver, but I've seen your driving too. Wow. You hear that, people? <laughs> Savage from Args. Yeah. I did have to chuckle at your uh, at your little Twitter post that Thrustmaster put up announcing you as an ambassador for them about being a pro. Yeah, I, I didn't tell them to say that. I think they've, they've misread. <laughs> they've misread me somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> pro at what? Crashing uh, stuff. Pro at what? Yeah. Oh, you got to be a pro at something. But take the chance as well while we are just here to say uh, thank you to Thrustmaster for their support again for season number two. Absolutely. Great yeah. To have them on board and uh, 
bringing some prizes through for us. But we're back underway. Coelho's back in and uh, all the players are back moving. We are indeed. Yeah, Matthew Boy started to cut again. Lovely neat piles here. And uh, he's got the high lift as well, so he's going to be at an advantage with these neat piles when he, uh, mm. when he uses the high lift to pick them up. And that's Coelho with his yeah. first tree. I love the fact that Hannibal can just manoeuvre a tree on the mass it around. Just hangs. Right. Yeah. And Args. Coelho's listening. Args. SG, he was listening. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? But oh, I think he was already planning that know, before you said that. You know, I think that was his intention so. all along. I think so too. Um, Peter Sullivan had just commented in chat. He said, with the Impex, I have loaded straight into the trailer. So Yeah, and I think he was thinking the same. Of all of, of, yeah, all of the tools, it is the one to, that would work, isn't it? Yeah. Because you can manoeuvre yep. your tree no, into the perfect position before you uh, drop it. Yep. Absolutely. So interesting, Coelho, all that all that moving about at the start when others were cutting trees is now he's going to bring that back. And he's actually really quite deft with the, how he handles this. Yeah, so, uh, no, he's, he's got a very nice control and nice yeah, touch around it. Farming Alex is, uh, he's getting squashed by a tree, so we're seeing a lot of injuries occurring. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 spun no, around no. and knocked his trailer over. Oh, oh, that could work. Out. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess here and say that might have been a network lag issue because he did seem to be struggling. But let's see yeah, if he can get again. this right. He's got plenty of time. Again, look, he's, he's kept gone. going. I think his yeah. lag's back as well. Yeah, he's struggling with lag bit time, which is a shame, a shame because I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah, but he will flip this truck very quickly here with no issues. I don't think. I would have thought so. Let's just see what he's going to do. Ah, he's, he's strapped. Oh, he strapped his logs too close. I think you'll be it's all right, Quello. I think you'll be all right. Just get that log in there and rotate it. Mm, I would have used the log and tried to lift that up. But... Let's see. Um, interestingly, as we focus there on Quello and his dramas, farming Alex has gone and uh, grabbed his truck, and he's starting to put some trees, some logs into it as well. See that. Modern logging over here has got oh, look that. the neatest well, of piles. Has he? Did he flip it with the tree? With the tree? As soon as I turned yeah, around, he used the tree. Yeah, yeah. I just managed to catch that out of the corner of my eye. It was just bad luck that he, he spun that around, like you say. Probably a little bit lag induced. Yeah. Now the only problem is this tree is now not in the optimal angle that he would want no, to get into right. the trailer. And the trailer. Yeah, the trailer's out of alignment a little bit too with that tip. What a shame! And what a shame! Probably impinging a little bit on farming Alex's space as well. And there we are, halfway through. We are on the five minute warm from Farmer Hamish. Matthew Boy just coming to get his truck now. He's got a lot of logs. If he can get them in there with his high lift, he is going to be in a pretty good position, to be honest, Args. Hmm. All right, let's see Koala if he can manipulate this in. He's already cutting that log. Is it going to drop in? You're going to roll which side of the. Oh, that's all right. Oh, the second, that's almost, the first one has helped the second one uh, fall into place, actually. <laughs> so he could just give that a little yeah. tap when he's got the other ones in. It'll be good. Let's see if he tries that or whether he's just going to, no, looks like he's just oh. going for another tree. Throw caution to the wind. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, I think he's conscious of speed now, right? Mm, yeah, time is, time is counting down. We're down to four minutes remaining. Um, Mithy boys, like you say, he does have some good piles down here, and he does have the advantage of the high lift. Yeah. He's gone for the shorter logs, too. Yeah, he'll load this very quickly, I think, Ox. I think you'll see him mm. move very up the rankings, because he's the last one to start loading his trailer here, but I think very quickly mm. you'll see him. Well, he has got them tangled a little bit there, but he's just about got away with it. It's something we're definitely seeing is the players using the high lift sort of go for the shorter logs because they can pick up more, whereas the players cutting the longer logs are using the grapple because yeah. there's less loading required, but there is that difficulty of having to try and get those big awkward lengths um, to the back of the truck. Exactly. So seeing Alex Perfectly demonstrated by Alex here, yeah, that he's just mm. had to kind of... And look at it there, ah, yeah. Well, the coelho has gone again. All right, pause again, guys. Let's... What a shame! What a shame! Because actually, this tactic is a really clever one. I would have, I would have loved to have seen it. So a real shame that, it, yeah. that the lag's going to stop that, isn't it? Hmm. 
again though we've seen the uh, tally handler come into good effect from power team esports tonight it's yep. a, something new we hadn't seen and uh the uh was it modern logging in the last match going with the shorter logs just That's mixing right. up the log sizes because of the space they had on the trailer yeah now seeing coelho try that technique of loading directly into the truck so yeah so guys as the uh, season's progressing we're seeing some real innovation and ingenious ideas going on here which i really like yeah mm. yeah good stuff and actually farmer hamish just while we paused farmer hamish had a message from coelho asking if he was allowed to cut directly into the tree and hamish had confirmed that back to him so it was always his intention nice Brilliant. All right, let's see if he can get in and, and last for the remaining three minutes. He's not out of this yet, though, is he, Args? In no way, shape, or form. He's, um, there's I a don't good pile of logs so. on I mean, the tree there. If he can have a stable connection and get a couple more trees on, he could be uh, he could be looking good. He could be, and we're not going too far for the cell point. It's basically back up that road and, and directly across at the uh, animal dealer. That's right. It's not a difficult difficult route, and that's the same with, uh, with all of these courses today. It hasn't been a difficult route to navigate Let's see, he's looks like he's back in. Just having a look at his load there. I'm good now. I'm good now. <laughs> Don't say sorry, mate. You're doing a great job. Lag is uh, yeah. lag is a pain. It really is. He's, he's kicked the rest of the household off Netflix. Yeah. He's gone around, shouted to the kids, uh, and he's back. Yeah. <laughs> right, so here we go. Alex working his way through his logs. It's a sh Ooh, I feel sorry for Alex. Just actually. put a huge stick. Yeah, Alex is struggling a little bit with getting his loaded. His, his positions are all wrong here for getting the truck loaded and picking things up. And that, list, that issue that we've talked about with the longer logs hanging down and not being able to get other trailer logs is struggling a bit. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's actually an interesting point you raise because so much of that comes back from almost the first decision you make. Where do you cut your trees? Where do you start your pile? Yeah, and it all flows right through to the loading where you park your truck what loading equipment have you got how do you position that in the best spot to be able to optimise your time from picking up to dropping off yep. so there's some, some real interesting thought processes that need to go into that but, although he's nailed it with this um, three yeah oh look like you say Coelho's in no way out of this just because of the fact he was the first to get some logs loaded um, and he's just going so fast yeah yeah, well, he's cutting out a whole a whole cycle of the process, right? He's the only one that's... Yes, yeah. Although it's not elegant to look at, because I think probably because of that, because he flipped the trailer. If he hadn't that's flipped right. the trailer, I think it would be a lot neater, but uh, poor Alex yeah. is uh, really struggling with his logs here, Ogs. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Nitty boy, on the other hand, he's just gone halfway into the forest and pulled out, I don't know, half the woods of Finland in one go. It is laggy Greta tonight, yeah. is crying in her sleep at the moment, watching this. Here we go, Coelho has got this lined up perfectly. I think with a minute and seven left, he needs to oh, get out of here. Boy. He Mithy Boy took a gamble and just let them go and see what happens, and it, it oh, wasn't pretty. Yeah. He needs to unstrap right. those logs, he's going to have all sorts of issues getting these out of here too. Alex, he's got one hanging out. Alex so is far. gone. Oh, it's thumped it too. Um, Alex, Mickey boy's in all sorts of trouble. Yeah, Alex is th uh, thrown in the towel, and he is away. Coelho's away as well, Arg. So I'm going to follow these guys down. Um, Mickey boy has an interesting tactic. He was trying to take it through the forest. He was ignoring the road, and he oh, was going off road. But his load was nowhere near neat enough, and he's got logs all over the place. It's just disconnected his trailer. I don't know what his problem is, what he's stuck on, but... Interesting idea. Just let down a little bit on the execution with his stacking. So Alex has got a, 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 a log prone right across the back of his trailer, 90 degrees to the rest of the load. And he's clipping every tree through the woods on the way to the cell point. Oh, um, it sounds about the same as what I'm watching with Methy Boy, except his is, um, he's not following the road and he's dropping logs. There we go, I think he's got the last troublesome one unhooked. 
though Coelho, who's actually got a log hanging over the side as well, but not as bad, is is fast catching Alex, actually. I don't think he'll get no. him before the sell point, but it's going to be close. Mickey Boy's just trying got to wrap logs. his cab around a tree. I think Coelho's going to win this, Ox. We're into penalty time. We're 35 seconds beyond. Yeah. Alex limits. and Coelho we a second apart going over the finish line. Um, All right, there we go. And I think we can see visibly... Mickey Boy's just coming through now. See visibly how many more logs... Uh, Coella has to uh, Alex and here's Methy mm. stopping the clock just under a minute 59 seconds um, Methy boy's te technique of just cutting out the road and going directly through the forest would have worked if it wasn't for the pesky logs hanging over the edge Yeah, kind of panicked I think with his last load and he just let it go and he ended up with logs left right and centre Yeah, that looks a nice neat load now it does yeah if you Discount the five logs he left sitting in the <laughs> forest. Look at that load of Co Coelho. That's a fantastic amount of logs there. I think he's won this ox. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it now. I generally do. Yeah. Oh, Methy looks like he's got more logs on, but he did come over the line almost a minute behind. Mm. So penalty's gonna be quite big for him. Whereas Co yeah, I don't Coelho... think any of the, none of the none of them finished in time. No, they? Coelho's only I think about ten count. seconds. Alex and Coelho are only mm. ten seconds late, so. Mm -hmm. This could be another close one. <clears throat> it could be. Of course, a, a full minute is about a what six thousand dollar penalty. Yeah. So you would have to have a sizable amount of logs more than the others. But there we go. Sold. Well done. That is well uh, done. Round two. Pending results here for this final match. That's round two. All done and dusted. Again, another nice tight round there. I'm enjoying these uh, solo rounds towards the end. They were uh, super tight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So and, Coelho uh, with all of... Sorry, I was, I was just going to say the innovation we're seeing coming through and uh, different techniques and tactics as they're developing the rules, learning the rules. Yep, love it. Mark Thor's busy picking up... Uh, Mark Hathorn, wait, sorry, is busy picking up collectibles. <laughs> yep. Well played. Now, if, if Coelho... Um, with all of those issues with the lag pulls this off I will be highly impressed you finished there mate alright I'm just waiting for Hamish to bring through all oh, the results are up at PSG so they are right here we go so um, everybody outside the time limit so Coelho 42 seconds over with 21,000 litres of logs on his trailer Methy Boy 59 seconds over with 19,000 litres of log so that is interesting very close on the mm. log front there and Farming Alex mm. over 40 seconds over the time limit with just 9,831 litres so adjusted for penalties Coelho has won it. Congratulations, Even Coelho. after all those issues. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well done, Coelho. Quite a sizable win as well, over over 3,000 litres uh, to the good. Um, so, mm. uh, so Matthew Boy managed to peek, squeak through in second, uh, took the bigger penalties, but had quite a good number of logs on yeah. the trailer there. So, so Alex, although we crossed the line first, um, finishing down there in third place. But uh, great round that. Enjoyed that. Yeah, sorry, I just had a uh, frog in my throat. <laughs> Voice deciding to give up. Um, yeah, that, no, that was great. And isn't it good to see the innovation come through and uh, seal the deal in the end there for Coelho? Absolutely, definitely. So uh, well played, everyone. Everyone tonight, um, all the players, Pinnacle, Power Team, Logmeisters, Modern Logging, and then Faban, Jimmy, Coelho, Keg, Methy Boy, Bob, and Alex. Well done to all of you. Great, uh, great evening's Indeed. work. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, obviously, big thanks to Hamish and Mark for uh, organisation in the background. It's, it's I'd say, um, I'm sure you'll agree, FSG, this has probably been the smoothest run event we've had so far. Seven rounds, and we're only just over the two-hour mark. So, yes. Um, thank you to for Hamish and Mark for their efforts there, but also to the players and everyone involved from that side of things, uh, helping it run so smoothly. It's, uh, it's been great. Appreciate Definitely. You Very slick. And having you here. Very mm. slick indeed. Mm. It's nice. So, uh, on well, that note, uh, we will be back next month for round three. Um, yes. 
Don't, don't start uh, up in Discord. Let's just have a look if I can confirm when they are. <laughs> and uh, it will be again on another new map. We'll be putting the vote out to uh, the teams and we'll be selecting another new map because right. I think this has worked and added a nice little uh, additional element to it. So uh, uh, I think we'll continue right. to do this. Yes, yes. Yep, I think that is the plan. Um, it's the last weekend of April, I, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we, yes, I think that's right. A month apart, usually. We, we had to squeeze two yeah. into March, but uh, from now on, it'll be one a month. Mm. And, well, that's, I mean, that's the halfway halfway stage as well for the rounds, isn't it? We're doing four rounds and then a finals. That's right. Yeah, so... Um, mm. uh, and if you want to keep tabs on the, the, uh, the league tables, they'll be updated and put onto the website. In the next few days as well. It will be. Absolutely. Well, mate, it was a blast. Pleasure as always. Nice to uh, nice to be here. Nice to see everything that's happened. And looking forward to round three already. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no, looking forward to it. And thanks to everybody that's been uh, uh, watching us for the last couple of hours. Appreciate it. Thanks to all the, hmm. all the oohs and ahs and uh, banter in the chat. It's been good fun. And, uh, yes. yes. Uh, it's we not easy will... to catch up with you all, but that has been seen and noted so thank you yes indeed yes indeed and uh, you get some rest dogs um, yeah to, uh, yep. go and enjoy my Sunday yeah put your feet up and uh, I'll see you later for yep. a bit of Aussie Farms yeah we'll catch you later on mm, sounds good alright everyone take care enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, we'll catch you next log and leg take care folks bye for now see ya bye <laughs>